because the game where Habe gets his revenge on Josh's characters. Oh no. <laughs> uh, it's been nice playing with you, Josh. <laughs> not going to happen. I am safe. I I declare myself safe. That's what you think. You get gonorrhea from the bartender after sleeping with her and die. Yeah. yeah. Um <laughs> no, I like I like Epna, so uh she doesn't have gonorrhea. Or she has AIDS. Damn. Got something. Um, okay, mm-hmm. so so are we are we starting in the morning of the fifth? Right. Or... Morning so of Abadius day. five. What am I, what the fuck is and this I? is the day after the uh, the games were won and everybody's recovering. Right? Yes. Well, the, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Because um, I will point out with half the people. Wait a do you not? <laughs> well, hey, do you? Um, do you have small time or only simple calendar? I turned off small time because it was desyncing from simple calendar. I was like, a, there was like a minute difference between the two for whatever reason. I couldn't figure out how to fix it. It was driving me nuts, so I disabled small time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like. It. I mean, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Don't it just means I have to go tell my uh, simple calendar to open up on load because I had, I, on in the other game, I've. It's weird. I've sweet. I prefer the way small time looks, so I. I still have to use simple calendar because it does cool shit that I like. Like it lets me d- dictate how many days of, how many hours of sunlight and darkness there are in every season and so forth. I use them in tandem. Is basically what I'm saying. I don't. I don't use right. both. I don't keep both clocks up at the same time, so it wouldn't bother me. I only keep small times clock up. I only use simple calendar yeah, keep as a both. calendar. Is the macro that you were showing me on your game to advance time to a specific place? Is that something that's built in here, or did you have to get that somewhere? Uh, it's from the Kingmaker Tools module. You'd, okay, so it's not in there then. Okay. Yeah, if you wanted that, you you could install the Putty's Kingmaker Tools module, import that macro from it, and then just de- disable the module. Gotcha. Um, not worth fucking with right now then. All right, so. so you said it's morning of Abadias fifth. Yeah. Um. Okay. Seven a.m. Preparation daily preps already done. We. Awake after our celebratory party. Do we start with a hero point? Everybody starts with a hero point. Josh starts with two. A... Yeah, I'm, I'm taking away everybody starts with two in Kingmaker, by the way. I'm going back to... Uh... Going Look at Jamie's to... sad face. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going back to everybody starts with one except the, except the note taker. Nobody besides the note taker is realistically doing enough work to just start with two. Plus, if we don't start wow. with two, it makes me feel more free to uh, give them out without it without overloading. They're using brain power to be creative here. Sounds like a hero point to me. Yeah. Well, everyone starts with one, but I, in Kingmaker, I was starting everyone with two because they were doing other small tasks. Well, the, Daniel's task doesn't even happen until who knows how many sessions in when he starts using the King of Machines. <laughs> he's been getting paid for war. <laughs> he's been getting paid for labor un, undone, anyways. Um, Paul, what's going on with your camera? We can't see you. Who? Hey, Paul. I see Paul fine. I just don't see the sun around him because he's blurred it. Probably because his kids run around naked in the background or something. Oh. Yeah, I use the desktop background, background blur now because I just like how it... Okay. I like it, how it looks better. Well, I like it when I watch you guys on camera, then I'm not like... I'm focusing on what's going on, and I'm not like trying to like look in your house like a creep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it yeah may, like... well, it may, for me, it makes it easier to focus on the person... Cause like don't blend in I'm like in Jamie's house. I'm like, look at all those fucking plants. What you got on that board? I know, back right? There? Jamie, your house is so cool. I keep. I'm not looking at you. <laughs> and I'm then just like, like this is my office. Stuff. This is only my office. We that's got, uh, that's we all it. Got ADHD. We can't focus. On I it. love it, man. I'm we'll checking see. everything out. All right. Thank all right. you. So, so, yeah, uh, it's only my house. It's only my office. I've got ADHD, OCD, PTSD. All wrapped into one. I like it. Oh. So, uh, but if you guys want to know what's on the board, yeah, yeah. I'll show you something. Oh, embarrassing Jeff pictures. Uh, yeah, trying to. I don't know if you can see it. There's a picture of Aww. us at the ball. Oh. Yeah. Fresh blues. Cute. Yeah, and there. There's a picture of us 
on an, like an anniversary date. No, at the oh, Jeff pot. Penis. No. Yeah. And there's my granddaughter. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. My granddaughter. So I got <sighs> got a couple couple things going on here, you know. Oh, yeah. But here, I think yeah. Mercy is. I think she's not showing her. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, what's so, the plan, Stan? Well, you're the game master. You tell us. Uh, this is a sandboxing thing, though. I'm not telling you what to do. Okay. okay so, <laughs> seven a.m. Game, game master. Game master doesn't tell you what your characters do. He I think you, he tells you. He presents to you the the world, and you engage with. My character had a very rowdy night, but she's got like this VIP suite, so she had a good old time, and she slept good. So she's coming on down. <laughs> She's gonna go Coming get on some down, water. You've, deci you've decided there's a second floor. I don't think we actually know that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is there not? I thought it was an upstairs, and then you. I actually don't know. No, this, don't this is more of a tavern uh, than an inn. There's only these few rooms on the side corridor um, there. So, so Ig we've done. So Ignok, um, Ig Ignok yeah. said he does not want to mess with Diomir's drop until some other stuff has been dealt with. It's more of a leisure well, I, thing anyways, right? Um, I, I think... It's a task. I don't know about a leisure thing. Well, I mean, seeing if we can... Uh, see if Seeing if one or more of us can do the climb is less of a sort of a quest to Ignok's mind than, like, um, the other things. It, obviously, it could build us up some reputation, so there's that, and that's good. But uh, But we also... Um, I'm just I'm gonna just be ignorant. Um, so uh, we, we gather together in the morning or whatever. Um, hey, should I be asking for oppor like when there are opportunities to engage with um, Epna's influence block or well, wait on you to tell me that? Uh, you I would ask I would rather you ask for when you want the opportunities. Because if like. If if uh if the rounds or whatever are like you know an hour or whatever and I could like I was eat breakfast planning on an hour if I can like eat breakfast and engage with it at the same time I would tell the rest of these jabronis uh like hey I'll see you in an hour I'm gonna go eat breakfast at the bar and talk to Ep yeah I was planning on hour hour segments for it hey so what where do I find I think we have some task left what was the task. Well, Did we um, well, you have cap tavern rumor. Here. There's the quest log. That's, I just popped it open. Yeah. Do you know how to get to the quest log, Jamie? Jamie D. I I was looking for that. You go, um, up, you go up here to the journals tab. Yeah. And then you go to the very bottom to the quest log. The okay. And then you open that. I up. see. Okay. Right, so we. Have, I was going to the player journal. We ha we have three like miniature things that aren't a quest, and then we have one quest right now, which is vengeance at Silver Cap, uh, where yep. people got food poisoning. Um, so there's okay. always opportunities to discover more if you want to spend you know an hour or so here gathering information or yeah, wherever. I, I, I want to deal with the stuff we already have before we like start looking for rumors. But Paul or whomever you guys might want to look for rumors like during breakfast. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to engage in influence with Epna during while well, I eat breakfast for like the first hour of the day after preparations if that's okay. Sure. All right, I kind of um motion to Igna, let's go get a table. Yeah, I'm following. So I can eat my breakfast. And then that gives you know, Ignok some one on one time. Yeah. So and Paul, I'm gonna Paul, if you want to try to fish up like another rumor, Habe was saying you could gather information. So like I think gather information I think it usually takes two hours, but he may say you could try to get a rumor in that first hour. I don't know. That's just like a default. Um but first, yeah, Habe, I'll do the thing. So uh um so uh other than what's in my notes, I don't think I have any. Um... Uh, let me look at your notes real quick so that I can compare. Yep, no, so you have discover and alcohol lore. Okay. See the the uh, I I learned that her lowest influence DC is alcohol lore. I think that's the only thing I have. 
yeah, and then the base perception DC to discovery. Yeah, and we and we talked about we talked about because there's no other way to like find out if you have a better discover that like you're gonna tell me if one of the oh yeah yeah we did talk about that is, is easier or better for me than my perception. Um, I'll just give you the discovers then uh, and let you decide what's best for you. Um, so there's also a DC 13 alcohol lower discovery. And a DC 16 high home lore discovery. Okay, high home lore was what? 16. And alcohol lore was 13. 13. Oh, are, sweet. are we wanting to take on like another hero of? High helm task. After this, like the Knights of the Last Will Wall. We, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get to that after we do this first stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do his hour of influence, and then if Paul or anybody wants to gather information about more yeah, things, I'm you gonna, can. I'm gonna and then information. we're just kind of doing this in like a social turn, which is like an hour. Uh, so social turn for for uh, Ignok and Ipna first. Hey, where where are the di where's the dice tray? It's not. Bottom see. right. Uh, what? Um. So. Uh, Unless you're on, are you on the chat messages thing? Is that the only time, only time you're going to see it? Is when you're at this tab. Okay, but how do I change the color of my dice and stuff? Oh, that's a different thing. That's um. In game settings, uh, configure settings, and dice so nice. Oh, okay. Configure settings. So, did you, go ahead, Josh. Did you, uh, were you, um, I don't know. Uh, when, whenever you get around to installing the latest version of the Razor's Party Sheet Helper, mm -hmm. you, you didn't really reply to any of the stuff I posted on Discord about module stuff lately, so I'd never know if you actually read it or not. But you It's just been a crazy fucking afternoon I, I mean over the last like two or three days but um razor added the ability to like put inline roles that will automatically modify your party sheet subsystem influence counts oh okay so you can yeah. you could send it to me and it would be like i click the perception discover or whatever or i mean i'm sorry the influence thing i i'm going to um i though uh, i'm gonna i'm still working on discovery here like uh you know, I don't have influence. I don't have alcohol lore or whatever. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking for, for more stuff. And I'm, I'm just gonna roll perception, because I, I don't have high helm or. Oh, and or just so you know, because the you know, influence typically get more detailed than that. The, it, the alcohol lore is to discuss the brewing of libations. Under influence. Yeah. Uh, I like that. Thanks. Appreciate that context. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to roll um uh perception again for um discovery. Which I fail. Real. But this making her like me is the most important thing in this campaign to my character right now. So, it's worth <laughs> a hero point. Oh. oh, the critty. I think I should give you two on the critty. Or I'll, I'll let you pick, oh. you know, two things: an influence skill and a resistance, or influence skill. Oh, that's, that, that's a weakness, or that is that is how. Cool. That's how is cool. that how it works? Good. Good. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I mean, I only actually crit because of the nat twenty, though, right? Yeah, I can only crit on a nat twenty on this because it's high enough. Because I'm stuck using perception. My non high home lore have an ass. All I got is cave lore from my background. I've been living here my whole motherfucking life, and I got no high home lore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's my fault. I could have taken it with my uh, one of my trainings, but I'm stupid. And my character's low ass int. Um. Okay. So, okay, so first thing, first thing uh, uh, next lowest influence DC, please. Uh, the DC sixteen crafting for actually brewing or mixing drinks with her, and not just being able to discuss the theory of it.
all right, we're going for another lowest oh, influence DC really? because <laughs> so far there's, there's things that I have plus zeros in. Uh, so I need a before, okay. before I can take advantage of weaknesses, I gotta actually be able to influence. <laughs> I gotta flip a coin because the next there's two more and they're they're tied on difficulty. So. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. Okay. DC 18 diplomacy for showing genuine oh, interest just... beyond the normal flirtations that every bartender gets. Aww. Does music feel like you should be on a beach in the Bahama? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to. Um, what, what's that white drink that Hayes makes that's really good? Pina yeah, colada? Yeah, oh, those are like. Colada. Be on a beach somewhere and be like, Garcon? Garcon? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just for openness's sake, there is one more influence skill that I have listed. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. So. Yeah, so. Uh, is it charisma? Uh, we're, um. <laughs> we're. <laughs> We're seeing we're we're seeing in action uh, how the influence subsystem is best as a group thing because right now I'm deep into her influence block without a single way that I can actually influence her without rolling like almost a nat twenty on every check, but uh, that's okay. I'm gonna find out what that last influence DC is and uh and hope that it's something my character can actually do, um, because otherwise this has all been pointless. Or I'm going to have to make you guys group up with me to make her like all of us, and then I will just reap the benefits, because that is just going to be what has to happen. Um, I mean, we already have a champion in our midst, so... Right, it's just, just so, so, far, so far I'm the only one that's been working on the making her like me more, well, learning about her. But it, no, no, it's, it's good. I mean, realistically, we probably, at some point, we probably all will want to make her like us more or whatever. But right yeah. now, I'm engaging with it. Well, um, just to be fair, I wrote this particular influence block with your flirtations in mind, and not just, hey, hey, let's everybody like Epna. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's fine. I just, I, I, I just mean, you know, I'm just. I did not look at your character's skills when I made it. I just made it based on what makes sense. But. Right. But if the last DC to influence her is like yet another thing I have plus zero in, then it's not it's not actually possible for me to influence her. I'll have a higher chance of rolling crit fails than successes on every single influence roll. Uh, and then we would be in the same boat we were in when I was like, hey, I want to flirt with her. And you're like, well, roll diplomacy. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm not trying to make an impression. I'm trying to make her like me over time. With, uh, my, my, my personality, not my uh, ability to make first impressions. So. Because I am not good at making first impressions. I was actually, in between sessions, I was actually thinking about that. One of the conversations I'm going to have with her is, like, about how I know I don't make good at first impressions. So I'm glad that she gave me a chance to, like, to get to know me a little bit better. Because I know a lot of stuff. It's just not how to make good first impressions. It's not one of them. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I, in the interest of disclosure, like, the last skill remaining, I'll tell you, is not one you're good at. Either. Yeah. Okay. I mean, um, if it's not, yeah. I mean, if it's, if yeah, if, if if you, yeah, if she doesn't have any, if she doesn't have any influence skills that I can actually like roll against, then like I can't. Uh, then I, it's impossible for me to make her like me. I was just banking on the fact that, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I I'll just have to try with other stuff, and you'll just have to make up DCs. Yeah. Like, I, I'll, I'll like the, I'll, I'll when I'm ready when I'm to influence, ready influence her, her. I'm gonna have I'm gonna to go have to like, go. I'm just gonna have to tell you like, I I'm gonna tell her stories about uh, Angrad and like, see if she likes that at all, or I'm gonna um, uh, 
talk to her about something related to my medicine or I'm going to try to continue to bond over our shared like of uh, um, the basilisk sport and roll athletics. And, you'll, you'll, you know, they, they, may be rel- they may be harder DCs than the ones I've gotten so far, but that's just what I'm going to have to do because, like, you know, you you made her influence block with who she is as a person in mind, which is you did exactly what I would what I would do or any what GM would do. Um, I would just have to, uh, you know, it's hard to hard to. Uh, that this is the mechanics working correctly in my mind because it's harder for people who aren't good at diplomacy and shit like that to make people like them. <laughs> um, Hell yeah. I appreciate you taking the time to put the block together and stuff for uh, my fucking social dating simulator side quest. Uh, but Okay, so I'm done with that. Paul, did you want to do uh, gather a rumor or something? Yes. Um, I will gather information. Um, so, Have, when you do that just in general, is that me leaving the bar? Is that me? It doesn't really matter. Uh, however you however you want to do it. If you want to role play it like you're approaching one of these people in the bar, you can do it that way. If you want to make it completely abstract and just say, hey, I'm listening for rumors, we can do it that way. Um, I wanted to... Uh, if, we, if, if we've got the time, I wanted to take uh, um, the... I wanted to take Aggie over uh, to visit the barn and just head that way and gather information on my way over there. Okay, so you're just kind of talking to talking to people while you're wandering around? Yeah. Okay, sure, give me a gather information check. What the hell? It's a secret check. You're not going to see it. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Let me... Hey, you've... Mm-hmm. Remember, I told you I was going to use intelligence to gain a language, you know, about mm-hmm. what we talked about eventually. Mm-hmm. I can use the skill training that I get from that int instead of taking like fire elemental lore or whatever. Uh, I can take alcohol lore. I can take <laughs> alcohol lore or crafting to improve yep. Sapna. He, he really, yep. really likes her. Yes. Wow. Yes. Let's see. Yeah, I think you find out about this one here so uh oh fuck something's my fucking eye mm. it's your finger get it the fuck out your eye no something good something beat my finger there oh okay so you find out that um in a couple of days abstract sometime when, whenever you want to pursue it is when it is um there is a pickleberry Festival. It's a day-long celebration, uh, competitive eating contest. It features a small parade, the crowning of a lord, lady, or sovereign stickleberry, and a pie-eating contest celebrating the eponymous fruit, which resembles a fuchsia blackberry. Hell yeah. We're doing this. Can you spit that out of the chat, please? I will activate the quest. Rumor for it. Okay. Uh, that sounds uh, like fun. Yes. Alright, so I hurry up and I tie Aggie back up and I come running in the bar and I'm like Oi! Hey! Hey, there's a pie eating contest! I feel like you two stone fists ought to go at it again! Ha! <laughs> she might have beaten me at the uh, tryout for the hodags, but there's no way she can eat more pie than me. I have a bunch of food in my mouth and I'm shoveling it in. I'm like, really? And I'm like... <laughs> And I just keep shoving it. Um, I, I come up. I, I think. Time. I think you also hear some people once you come in the bar yelling this. I think you hear a few of the other people talking about it. And Epna is like, "Oh, I love that yearly thing. I'm gonna go. I'm definitely gonna go check that out." So, Have, I don't know if this hey. is gonna help. Ig- Have, I don't know if this is gonna help Ignock out, but I don't give a damn because I'm so pumped up about the height contest i run up to the bar <laughs> put my arm around him and i wink it head up now i was like oh I, this man here can eat some pie hey hey and this elbow him 
<laughs> the undertones. How deep do you want to lay on the undertones there, Baldred? <laughs> Uh, I mean, you know, because <laughs> not... you, you know what you know what Chris is thinking when you talk about eating some pie and well, you trying to try to wingman for him. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. That's that's what I'm talking about. I, I'm very. I have very high wisdom, so Ignok picks up. Just a minute, uh, baby. Ignok is very aware of the the subtext that he's doing there, and and turns a bright red. Face turns red. <laughs> Would I hear that from where I am? See, why not? Probably. Yeah, I mean, I mean, hell, I'm like 10 feet from you, maybe 15. Okay. I think I would turn around and, like, I see that my brother's embarrassed, but I don't care. I'm still full of food, and I'm just like, <laughs> he wants some Epna pie. <laughs> and I kind of turn around, <laughs> like, and giggle, and I just keep eating, and I kind of look at Bean, and I make a face, and just shoveling the food in. Yeah, and I just start laughing, <laughs> like, really, really cackling. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to high-five you. Yeah. I, look, I look down, but, like, a little bit out of my side of my eye to see how Ebna responds. She goes beat red, too. She's embarrassed, too. Ah. I, I look up, and I say, I'm, I'm sorry for Just a second, baby. I'm sorry for my sister. <laughs> All right, on that distressing note, I need to go put Connor to bed. So if you need to go to the restroom or grab a drink or whatever, I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I got to talk about eating pie. See you guys later. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm going to go check on the kids real quick, but while we're, while Habe's doing that, I'll be right back.
Oh, oh, oh. I just saw it after you left. Oh, okay. But then I also just uh, revealed you. Did you tell everyone what I said? Go look at the Kingmaker channel. Go look at the Kingmaker channel. I showed him how you tried to use your sexuality to sway an unswayable game master. I didn't think you used my sexuality to do anything. Oh, oh my God. I'm, not, I'm, a, I'm unswayable. You can't use your... Like, look, I appreciate you and that but as a game master i am unbribable i'm a i'm a bastion of propriety i cannot be i cannot be bought i mean jamie if that's me i feel like that's like okay challenge accepted the greatest of dome cannot cannot bribe the unswayable game like, master that's what you think <laughs> Hey, uh, I emailed you. It'll be a Google Drive link because it's like 90 megs. Okay, But cool. I, I emailed you the zip that has all the landing page assets. I paid an artist like five bucks for him who had a collection. Uh, Very good. I saw a few ideas online I liked, but I didn't have a good place to collect the assets for it. So. Amen. Yeah, I was like, uh, fuck it, you know, I just, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know, I want to, this, this could be cool. I gotta ask you, Have, how, how are you so quick to put a kid down? Yeah, yeah I don't understand, it's like magic. Raining, baby. I mean, he's not a I baby, mean, cause to he's me, not a baby, Connor's it, it, it'd like be, older. He's I need four. two more but... minutes. Yeah, but my kids are older. Our kids are older, Josh, and it's not that easy. No. Oh, I no, know, but I, I'm saying that. Connor. Connor's like, I need dad for bedtime. Is like he sings him a song and he puts him down, and Connor goes to sleep. Like he's just trained to do that, and that's his bedtime routine. It's not like, it's not like he's like crying and Hayf has to like calm him down or something. It's just I'm ready to go to bed, Dad. I need my routine, and he does the routine. It's magic. I don't care. It's witchcraft or something because it doesn't work. <laughs> I think even with close mine. your eyes. <laughs> Yeah. But all my kids have been pretty good about sleep training, really. I mean, yeah. I haven't. The, the, they've all gone through phases yeah. where it was tougher, but they've all been pretty good about it. You know, I mean, like the girls now, I mean, Zoe's 12, Harper's 9. Go to your rooms, you got a half hour on your timer, then go to sleep. And they'll do it. They'll set their timer on their iPad, they'll do their half hour, they'll go to sleep. So. So, yeah, you're a drug mine. It's amazing. They're good. All right, so you have a few things that you could pursue. You have old Diamir's drop that uh, Ignok wants to wait on. You've got the Knights of Last Wall lead needing some comfort. You got language tutoring that could take you know several days if you decided to pursue that. The Stickleberry Festival and yeah. Vengeance at Silvercap. I want to go to the Stickleberry. That's not until a couple of days, right? Yeah. I said it. I said it. Whenever you decide to pursue it, it, it oh. moves at the power of uh, plot. But uh, yeah, it's oh. <laughs> it's like how in Kingmaker whenever we <laughs> we arrived at this trading post and I, I was like game mastering and I was like, yeah, these bandits they keep coming the first of every month to collect their taxes and. They're going to come back tomorrow. And then Habe's like, uh, but it's like the third of the month on the calendar. And I'm like, Habe, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, they haven't. Uh, oh, yeah, they, they're, they're late to get here this time. <laughs> You're using a calendar that's a few years old. They're a little bit off. <laughs> but no. Um, so I I Ignok would say, um, uh, look, let us uh, check in on these uh, these these knights. We have heard about them uh, uh couple of days ago uh let's check in on them uh i think that the the stickleberry festival it is uh not until uh tomorrow yes <laughs> i like the idea that we have to wait a day to do the festival sure. yeah 
like that we heard about it and it's like yeah i think we can knock something day, out maybe. now mm -hmm. yeah maybe yeah, let's go do the nice yeah. blast wall and if we have time maybe we can do some of the tutoring also today but yeah at least yeah. the tutoring is a uh, earn and then come activity yeah. oh it's got to be done with full days yeah yeah, we may just skip over that one though. Is the thing because, yeah. because oh, completely fine. I, I'm pretty. Sure, I'm pretty sure based on the languages. Didn't we? Didn't we decide that the only person in the party who even has one of the languages that is on the less demand list is uh, Bean? I think so. I think so. Like I, I think that's probably just something that we just don't end up engaging with. Uh, cause we're yeah. Just, Maybe. Like, is that we don't have to do every single one of these things? In fact, we might not even be able to do them all these just happen to be the rumors that we have yeah. gathered don't don't think of it like the gm is just putting things in front of us that we have to do it's just yeah every time we discover a new thing it's randomly determined which thing we discover not all of them are going to be things that we're built for or or maybe we just don't want to do it because yeah, the, like um, the only thing extra i had was what draconic goblin under common that's it what was in high demand I don't remember. None of us have any of the high demand languages. Cthonian, Elven, Hallet, Jotun, Necro. Yeah, I Orkish. have Elven. Oh, you have Elven. I was saying, I thought, I thought Paul was. Okay, he has Elven. I didn't think I had any. Bean has Goblin, which is low demand. Okay. And then the Stone Fist siblings, we're stupid as shit. We don't speak <laughs> anything. <laughs> we speak Dwar yeah. I speak Dwarven and Bad Common. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so let's yeah. let's go after the knights of last wall let's go try to like help them feel more welcome yeah. um yeah is it we're we're riding high on that whole like high helm spirit thing anyways you know maybe we can ask them if they were at the basilisk game and whatever yeah so let's go check that out i think i'm gonna point at right. me and say if you're gonna do that competition <gasps> this is the last that we eat yeah, they're they're no uh, more food today. You gotta save all the room. I'm letting her know, and then I get up. I could put away some pie. Yeah, sir. I believe it. Sir Oscar and his knights vigilant are in housing that's being provided by Clan Stonefist. So this is right in our wheelhouse. Yeah. Yep. Let's go do it. Yeah. So you uh, head to King's Heart, where they are being housed. Uh, that's, where, it, that's where we are right now. Right. I'm just you know. I'm just Do we, reading okay. off of the page for this. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> Are they being housed at Stonefist Hall, or does it say? Uh, yeah, it the housing it, is the housing is provided by clients. Provided, provided by. So I don't think they're in the hall itself. I think they've probably like bought out an inn form or something. It it actually would make, it actually would make it, it, if you want it to be if you if you want it to behave, it would make sense for them to be in Stonefist Hall. And the only reason I say that is because. Uh, I read up in the High Elm book about Stonefist Hall, and like, the training halls are down here, and then the like storage stuff is here. But the top floor is like a place. It's a fortress, but they there's tons of room for like, holding up in times of danger and places for people to sleep and stuff like that. Okay, I mean, sure, works for me. Stonefist Hall it is. Ground on the ground floor. Cool. Are we changing maps or? No, there's no map for it. Just right, stay right so I, there. I didn't know if you were going to put us on the King's Heart map the way you had. Uh, I mean, I can do that real quick. Uh, I like I like the visual of like seeing where we are. Yeah. Stonefoot. Uh, yeah, I'm a visual hall. learner Stonefoot too. Hall, I believe. Oh, so is, I need that. I think it's number ten here. Oh yeah, literally has the key at the top left. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right okay. So yeah, over that area there, if you guys want to. Put your dudes on it. Dudes and dudettes. Oh, no, no, Giller. Get out of here, buddy. You're gone. I don't have one. <laughs> That's because we haven't been on this map since. You don't have a token? We do now. Ah, uh, Yeah, right there. We... It was there the whole time. I swear. It wasn't there. Right, so so. While, while we're, on, while we're on, the, on the way there, I say, uh, it is good to be going back to visit... Uh, the clan hall. Mm. I've never actually been here before. You'll fit Wait, right is, in. Is this like our home clan, Josh? I'm confused. 
Yep. When you say clan hall, oh sweet! I'll be like, yeah, yeah. You can should... tell I'm a champion. Yeah, our stone, our the stone fist hall is like, yeah, it's like a fortress. There's like ten foot tall iron walls all around it, but you know, obviously we can get in and stuff. Kind of um, say, VIP. I say you're always welcome at Stone Fist Hall, Baldrin. I say you kind of look like you could use some time in the training halls. <laughs> ah. <laughs> We'll see. So so the goal here is to spend a day with them to try to make them more comfortable or feel welcome in High Elm. That that's the goal, right? More or less, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. I don't yeah, I don't um Are they dwarves? Yeah. No, Mixed. no they were half orc. They're right. The, half orc. The the captain, Sir Oscar, is a half orc. But they're of mixed races. Yeah, they're they're knights of last wall. Okay. They're like a they're like defenders of over by the, what's that shit called? The World Scar, where all the demons. Even come though out. it fell. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Even though you failed, you're okay with me. Um, I don't think you say should that. sing that. <laughs> no, I don't think you should sing that. Even though. <laughs> yeah. So let's go meet. Let's go meet Sir Oscar. Yeah. See, I think, you know, you got several of your clan members, you know, especially clapping Igna on the back after her performance with, you know, because it was your cousin Relquez that was uh, out and provided the opening. Uh, so, they, you know, you did the clan proud. And they uh, yeah. they direct you to the quarters of the knights. And you go in, and it's basically like a, like a spare barracks that they've got set up for them. Uh, you know, mostly like... You know, pretty austere, you know, beds with, you know, uh, foot lockers at the foot of the bed and just a pretty austere couple tables uh, environment. And there's 14 knights um, kind of mostly just laying in beds and sitting at the tables and just they look they look a little downtrodden. And uh, you see one half orc amongst them that would fit Sir Oscar's description. We know, we know him. Who wants? No. Yeah. No. Who wants to? Only by reputation. We haven't met. We haven't met them. Yeah, I mean. I just, say Baldrin. Yes, this is Baldrin's thing. diplomatic one. All right. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna approach the the half half not or the half work night. We'll, well met. in ass and say you got it. Well met. Because I'm that tall. <laughs> yeah. Greetings. Um, my name is Baldrin Moonbeard, and, um, I've heard many tales about you and your knights, and I've, 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 I've wrote a song about it, and if you would share in, if you would share in a pint of ale or two, I'll, I would like to entertain you all this evening. That would be a... Nice change of pace. Right. So I, I say, uh, I'd like you to meet some of my friends, and I call you guys over. I think I, think I would hey. just come bumbling over. Hey! See. The champion! Champion, champion of the world. Yeah, okay. so I, I introduce everybody. I, to, say, uh, I, say in, I say in Dwarven. Hail, sir. Hail, sir Oscar. To see if he knows Dorvin. He doesn't. He says, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, uh... It seems odd to be in High Elm and not speak Dwarven, but we're just passing through, and it was the Is this... convenient place to recuperate. How long are this... you in... How, how long are you here for? Hard to say. As long as it takes my men to recover. They are, they are clearly in the middle of recovering from battle, Baldrin. Um, I say, you, you need not apologize for not speaking Dwarven. I merely uh, prefer to speak it if my company can do so. Uh, I say, uh, let me ask you, Sir Oscar. You reside now in the halls of Clan Stonefist. Yes. 
This is my home. My sister Ignis' home. We understand that you have been, uh, perhaps, uh, kept at arm's length by many of the, uh, residents of our, uh, our city, our home of High Helm. Have the Stone Fist Dwarves made you feel welcome? They've made us feel less unwelcome. Hmm. Many of the know. many of the clans we approached just turned us away. Well, I'm here to tell you that my god Engrad would chastise even the father of creation, his brother Thorag, for having his followers not Show welcome, Show welcome to proud knights. Any dwarf in High Helm who is not offering solace to you and welcome in our city, as long as you act with honor, is not living up to the standards we dwarves should expect of ourselves. So I am sorry that not all of us have done so. I share my brother's sentiments. She's trying to look smart. She's and just no like... need to fear. We're held to change all that. I appreciate it. Yeah. So, mechanically, basically you spend the day and you each get to make a check. Okay, okay we're going to drink and listen to him sing. So that's what we're doing now, right? Yeah, so he's, he's going to do performance. You could do... Uh, you know, you, basically anything that makes sense to you, you could do. You could do uh, diplomacy to kind of combat the dwarven prejudice. You could do uh, medicine checks to help them heal wounds. Uh, anything that kind of makes sense to make them feel welcome and help them, you know, craft, you know, use a crafting to help prepare, prepare gear. Um, basically, you each get to make one check for the day. So, I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to roll medicine to. Uh help treat the wounds, um, and help them recover the Knights Vigilant. And Sir Oscar, if he needs it. Um, you want me to just send it? Yeah, or do you have just go ahead and just, just go full send. I don't have any inline rolls for it, so. Uh, oh, it rolled over on you. it was a 17. It was like a 16, then it went bloop to a 3. Uh, <laughs> no, I, that's okay. It looked like I a 17. I think, I, I think the ones of them that have wounds are... Need more help than I can give, just with like, our you know superficial yeah. uh, treatment and stuff, and I uh, just you know they appreciate your efforts, but I do as best as I can to help, but I'm not going to re-roll or anything. Yeah. Can I can I do an athletics check? And here's how I'm going to do it. So my character is like excited and wants to like tell them all about how she won this um uh the ball thing and I'm the sports ball thing. And you probably like, kind of include them in the happenings of the day. Yeah, and I'm like moving around, and I'm I'm doing like athletic stuff and running okay. around, and probably hurting myself. I don't know, but that's what I'm doing. So sure, go storytelling. for storytelling. Yeah, your C three PO we get. Dang. Or nice. That's a crit success. Hey, let me jump on your Some. back. I'm getting carried. So they're uh, they're. <laughs> Their minds are clearly kind of taken off of some of their sorrows listening like, to you. And I did this, the match. I did that. I grabbed the ball and I pushed this person down. And I did like stuff with my hips and super back and, flip. You know, yeah. A couple of them say, man, we'll have to figure out when this next match would be. We want to see this game. It sounds yeah. crazy. All right. What about you, Bean? What are you going to do? You don't have to do anything. You can just say, ah, no, I'm good. But if you want to do something, uh, whatever works for you. I know, I'm trying to look to see what I would be good at. I got shit for medicine. And I got a plus one in performance, but I don't know if I can outdo Igna. Uh, I mean, what... What are your... What, crafting what's your is zero. What's your best one? Uh, athletics. So being so small, should I just do like athletics to be like entertaining? 
and like help Igna tell her story more by mimicking. So you're you're kind of trying to do like physical comedy, basically. Is that what yeah, I'm hearing? Yeah, I guess. Okay, I think I'm gonna make the cause, you know performance would be more suited to that, but you're trying to go at it from a different angle. I'll make the DC a little higher, but give it a try. So does it? So all right. Also, uh, also, Jamie, it, you know, it doesn't always. You're not always going to be able to find a, a way to fit in like uh, your best skill. So, like, yeah. you're trained, but not you know, not amazing, but trained at um, intimidation, for example. You can you you could use that to be like giving them sort of a uh, get your head out of your asses type of pep talk, kind of like a tough love pep talk. That that's always a thing too. Like, but I'm like three feet. <laughs> well, you trained intimidation, so you're feet. good at intimidation. Go up to like a eight oh, foot fucking half orc. <laughs> you can get on top of the in, table you and be like intimidation. So your character's good at intimidation. Yeah. It's not the game doesn't work that that's way. That's true. Like, oh, I'm three feet tall, could... so I can't be intimidating. No, you you put in skill training. That's fair enough. Unless you are a mere short stature. To... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let me use my short stature to do. That this all right let me let me do an intimidating roll and do like what josh Look said give all uh, do what do it for the gipper kind of thing right all right ready ready here we go or our lee ermy yeah Filio. toughen up type, toughen up type uh, <sighs> okay right. i think i think not all of them are receptive but some of them are some of them are like oh yeah we're knights we're the knights of last wall we survived anything we can deal with a little bit of you know a little bit of prejudice a little bit of you know, unwelcome uh, feelings. I mean, I have three feet. Guess how many prejudice comments I get a day. Eh, don't be short. Um, and I go with it. And you're worse. You're a ginger, too. <laughs> uh, so. I know. <laughs> All right, Baldwin. Let's uh, wrap the day up with your, your custom song. All right, here we go. And you're not going to whip out a guitar and sing for us? I'm, dude, that would be awesome. Hey, <laughs> next, hey for for... Next next week, I will bring down my ukulele, hey, just for fun. I want to I want to aid, I want to aid the performance with religion. Um, <laughs> I it's I want it to be like uh, a part of the performance, not all of it. Part of the performance I want to be like him playing like a like a battle hymn while I uh, tell tell one of the stories of you know one of Angrad's conquests. Okay. Is that okay? Sure. Give me a check. Here we go. All right. Yes. Ooh. There's a crit success. Well, yeah, crit success. You we didn't let him. You didn't give him a chance to aid. You gotta let but... me aid first. I gotta Sorry. Roll it. I, 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 I might crit fail and bring you down. Um. Shit. What? What's, <laughs> what's my DC have? Uh, it'd be a ten. So I would, yeah, I, would, so I, would plus give, two. I would give you a plus two, but you don't need to like put it on because you already rolled. Pretty so twenty seven. Also, yeah. So out. they, um, you know, before you, you know, at, during the the battle hymn part, some of them have tears in their eyes, and uh, you get through like the you know the parts with the bravery of the knights and you know, all that kind of stuff, and they start getting you know tapping their feet along the music, and you, they they seem very 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 appreciative of of your efforts, and they have like. Arguably the only good night they've had in in High Helm. I'm gonna advance time to like dusk real quick here. Um, they spent the evening, the whole day with them, pretty much. Uh, so you do get a reputation point. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Uh, so that's the reputation, High Helm. Okay, and in addition, um. Oscar kind of uh, after after Baldrin's performance uh, kind of pulls Baldrin aside and hands him a scroll, and I stuck that in the party stash. Oh yeah. And this this scroll is it common? It is common. It's a level you can cast. I'm gonna I'm gonna demystify it. So okay, so I'm on the party <laughs> sheet, Have. Just the stash yeah. tab. And that's Whatever. A scroll. <laughs> Abe, whenever, you, whenever, whenever you unmystified it, mm -hmm. my brain just read it, and it, and my first, 
in that instant that it came out, my brain read that as scroll of disgusting weapons. <laughs> and I was like, what? That's a new one. Cool. Um, cool. Thank you so much. And I'm Bal. I say, uh, I say, uh, tis a divine spell. I'll take this one. I say that in Dwarven to, uh, Baldrin. Because, I, I, actually, I don't know that I even know that he's a spellcaster. I, well, I don't know. I have seen him cast a spell. He used Lose yep. the Path when we were uh, uh, yeah, and, doing shit. Yeah, and um, Bullhorn. Yes. So I have seen him cast spells. He hasn't seen me cast spells. <laughs> I say, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I think he's probably got a pretty good idea that I'm a cleric. I, I talk uh, pretty frequently about me, old God. Hey, who's going to use that bow now, though? The crossbow. Crossbow. Somebody's just carrying it, right? Yeah, you said you said that uh, we could have the. We're waiting. We're waiting to meet back up with the chick who's giving me my armor and to ask her to uh, the smith to transfer yeah. it. It's eight thirty. Are you doing a hero point? <laughs> I mean, I'm not doing it on a schedule. Um, if you want to nominate somebody, then nominate somebody. I think... I like everybody. It's hard. Um, I really... Not just because I'm married to him. I just did a really good job with the uh, stuff. The talking and the like... I the know, role the play? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the talking... <laughs> I'm tired. Sure, sure go for it. Right, Even though he uh, does not deserve it for getting on my computer and saying nasty things I, and putting it in Discord. Everybody knows I didn't fake that. That was Josh. That's definitely not something Jamie would type. She might say it to you outside of game, but she would never type it in front of all of us. Because of that, Have, I would give you a hero point if you were a player. So. <laughs> do you, Have, do you actually think she didn't type that? Because she DM'd it yeah. to me. I did not. I screenshotted her DM and posted it. In the chat. Now I don't know who to believe, though. I don't know. I you're muted. There you go. I am not. I don't care to prove that. See, I Jamie care. looks pretty fucking guilty now. I don't look at the look on her face. I, I don't care to prove my, that I'm telling the truth enough, or else I would screenshot like more of the DMs and like make it super clear that it. Okay, it was me. Don't don't put anything else on there. Okay. <laughs> Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. I did say that. See, now I can't trust Jamie anymore. Um, Same. So, Same. Yeah, we got the we got the plus one striking weapon, but we because we have nobody who can craft. That may change though, because uh, it's actually one hundred percent going to change. I'm going to put off. I'm going to put off boosting my strength to eighteen or to plus four to boost intelligence at level two. No, damn it! I don't know. It's a hard choice. <laughs> I'm taking I'm taking crafting skill so I can like learn how to mix drinks and impress Ebna, but I also yeah. don't want to take my int at level two because I don't want to get my language so fast. I want to have a build up before I get my new language. Anyways, um, did you ever figure out how much we can sell these faulty potions for? By the way, because we were gonna sell them, but like I don't think you wanted. To, yeah. I don't think you wanted us to sell them for the price of a not faulty one, which is what the prices are listed as. GM finger. Yeah. Sorry, my wife called and she wouldn't call during game time unless she knew it was important. And I guess her one of her other aunts now has been in a severe car accident on the way back from the other aunt's funeral, Says. and is blood pressure is so high and has such a history of strokes they've got her in an induced coma. So. Oh, Jesus! Damn. Everybody in her family. What's happening? Like a Domino's man. 
<laughs> you ever laugh at something and, like it's not funny but you're like you can't help it like i'm sorry i, I do it the clients will be like oh jamie this whenever you like, said that for some reason my brain was just like holy shit like it's just a row of dance <laughs> like aunties are dying <laughs> they're falling like dominoes the bowling pins are crashing <laughs> Uh, the one that was just in the wreck, I don't know her that well. She's kind of a fucking holy roller Jesus freak. Um, but the one that died was the one that set me and Megan up. So she's in no small part responsible for my family. Yeah, yeah you yeah, you, so, mentioned, you mentioned that uh, on Discord or something. Yeah, it's cool. So, it's cool. Anyway, I'm sorry. I missed something. Well, yeah, my yeah, question my was... I don't know if you're going to make us wait until we have a day a day of downtime to find buyers for them, but these two potions that I'm putting back in the stash, we're try we want to sell those, but I don't think that you wanted their price to be priced at like what a non faulty potion is priced at, which is what they did. Yeah, the faulty thing is just a flat check DC three. It's not super faulty. Like it has a pretty good reasonable chance of success for a while. Um, I don't want to price those at. Normally, it's half price. So whatever I set them at, I need my calculator on my phone here. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. You might not change the price. Maybe you don't change the price of the potion. Do you just say like instead of fifty percent, they're only going to give you thirty percent or what, just whatever you want? That sucks. Um, I mean, you guys are pretty loot heavy for a level one party. Tbh. No, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, we'll delete those. We'll add gold. What what percentage of their sale prices were we able to get? I did about thirty. And I will distribute coin as soon as I figure where that button is. There it is. <laughs> distribute it all directly to me. All right, cool. Ooh, a nine Thank gold you. piece richer. Yeah. Rich bitch. All right, yeah, so it's evening. I marked that quest as completed for you. You can head back to the tavern, call it a night, rest, do something the next day. You can try to gather more information on other quests. You can go do some RP. What time? Wait, what, what time did you say? You can biopsy Jeff's lump, except it's a dick. I don't know. Oh, it's like 6 p.m., you said? Yep. I have plenty of time to diagnose Jeff. Um. It's been crank day. Uh, Paul, you're the you're the you're the gather information guy. Are you wanting to gather information yeah. again before we call it a night? Yeah, I can do that. Um, what's the plan for maybe, tomorrow then? Maybe you try to maybe you go around trying to gather rumors from around um, the district of King's Heart, as opposed to just limiting our scope to uh, you know the people that are at uh, Zelgans. The bar. Okay. Um, we'll come along with. Maybe somebody could aid him. All right, here. Do you want to like uh, bar hop? I'll go yeah. with you. Hell yeah! Yeah. Let's yeah. Do, it. do a little bar hop. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. How, how how long do you want to spend? Let me let me ask you that question. How before you go back to the uh, to Zelgans and call it a night? How many hours do you want to spend bar hopping? How uh, many bars are there? It's a fucking dwarven city. How many bars do you think there are? Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm hey, is, is, is there any, like, famous, like, pub crawl thing? Like, you know, where you, like, complete ten drinks or ten bars or yeah, something? Yeah, you get, like, like a, a, a card where they put it, and then you get, like, yeah, a reward. Like a pub crawl. Uh, I mean, I don't know of one. It doesn't give me of one. If you want one for next time, I can come up with one. Yeah. But I don't have, I don't have anything ready right now. Okay. So I'm just gonna do a straight gather information. We'll hit a couple pubs, check out a local band. You know. How many How many hours you want to spend? Uh, I'll go Ooh. till 10 p.m. So four hours. Four hours. Let me go ahead and advance. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna give you two checks in that right. four hours. Here's the first one. Okay. 
roll it. That was terrible. All right. Where's the first one? Uh, was it 14? Yeah, nothing on that one. All right. Does one of the one of the other one of us need to roll that? Or... I mean, so if somebody was going to aid him, you could you could have. I'll I'll let you go retroactively aid if you somebody wants to try to aid him to modify that roll. Mess him up worse. Is, this, is, is, is he far enough away that like a plus one or plus two could change the to his plus one could change it? Okay. Yeah. Somebody aid. We, you know, you, usually we have to decide uh, it ahead of time, but I, I intentionally did not offer. Forgive me. How do you do it again? Well, you figure out how you're going to aid him first. Like, what are you going to do to aid him? You know. Yeah. How are you helping him gather rumors and then? That's the first step, and then, then you roll. I feel like maybe not like be deceitful, but like be kind of like the voice in the background that says, "Oh, really?" Because I heard this or heard that, and see if people pick on it and say, "Oh, I think she said she heard this," and then go, "You know what I'm saying?" Uh, like so you're shit talking. You're sure. shit talking. Yeah. So you're stirring the Paul? pot. I yes. feel like it's that uh, deception check. All right, let me see what I got. Mickey bastard. So, the the way you want to do it, Jeremy, is uh, mouse over yep. your token to use the interactive token tooltip, and use the aid button. Hang on. It. Mouse over my token and use the. You should see the tooltip come up. Along the bottom. Along the bottom. Go to extras, and then there's a button. Just mouse over where it says aid, and then left click that. Uh, and then Hay will tell you the GM to the GM. <laughs> hey will tell you the DC to put in, and then you just use the drop down and choose. Now this first perception. perception. Deception. So we go deception. Deception. All right. And DC so uh, be a DC ten deception. Okay, ready. Yep. Oh. Mm. Fuck. At least you didn't crit fail. All right. <laughs> oh, you, need, you needed to change the DC to 10 instead of Oh, it's 15, a 15. Like, still failure. Yeah, you so. still didn't succeed, but. Uh. Okay, so in the first hour, you don't really learn anything new. Uh, you, hear, you hear more about some of the stuff you've been hearing about. Uh, you know, Stickleberry Festival and then, you know, you know Viamir's Drop and so, you know, stuff like that. Um, you don't hear anything new, though. All right. Uh, next two hours. Before you roll it, is anybody gonna eat him? No. Sure. Yeah. Fuck uh, it. Why not? Are you go ahead, Igna. Oh God, I don't know how to she, eat him. Um, you should get a lot since you. I think, I think I'm gonna be doing um. So I'm probably gonna be doing my thing, like. I'm going to say doing my athletics again, and I'm trying to distract people and show off. And, like, well, no, never mind. That's a bad idea. I was going to say distract a bunch of people so that the people he's talking to can really focus with him. Um, I don't know. I'm not good it's, it's okay. It's, a, it's okay. It's not aid him. It's fine. He's a party face. Yeah. Just, you know. He's coming up with a cool story idea. I mean, like what you just said about trying to distract people away, uh, so that distract the the crowd, so he can hone in on the people he thinks might Focus. be good targets yeah. for rumors. That's easy. That's easy. that's that's easy. You just you're using like uh, you're 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 telling the GM that you're trying to use like uh, athletics or fort fort save or whatever because you're mm -hmm. you just like you're you're still. still in the middle of this week of extravagant living where you're basically yeah. a celebrity in the in this yeah. city. So you're just like, yeah. I'm rolling athletics and I'm fucking flexing on people and bragging about how I was yeah. the star of the hoedown. Yeah. I, mean, I think if you, did, if you didn't have that, I think athletics would be a tougher sell for me. But because you have that rolling on right now, I'm down for it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, like there, there wouldn't be a reason for people to care about you flexing you know, ordinarily. But... Oh, I did. That's a success. Off. That's a success. Oh, it is? Okay. Yep. Hey, don't. Uh, hey, don't, don't, don't just randomly. All right, so roll hey, roll the actual aid. I thing click gather information. 
Mm-hmm. And then I, I you're coming off really mean, and I don't know where that is. So it's the same and then I add to Jan- a plus one modifier. Mm-hmm. Were you right? listening when we were telling yep. Jeremy where to go, Jeremy? Other Jeremy? No, because I was looking at my character. Okay, it's on the interactive token tooltip in the extras. Is that how I do it? Just add the to the plus two. It's a plus one. It's not a great success. Okay, modifier plus one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Roll plus seven plus eight. You didn't put the modifier on, right? Mark. Did you toggle it on after you added it? No, uh, Paul. Paul, no. when you do, do you see do you see the chat card where Bean rolled to aid you? Yes. When someone aids you, you drop that effect that says effect aid, and then uh, it'll say choose the bonus from aid. You would choose plus one and drop it on your character, and then it would just automatically put it on. And that effect is set to like automatically oh. be toggled on, so you don't have to do it manually. Like okay. It just automatically adds it. All right, I see. That's how you want to do see, it yeah. next time. Uh, okay. Uh, well, you did succeed. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let me roll... What? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 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 Uh. <clears throat> I'm going to give this one to you in kind of a weird way because you're in King's Heart and this is a thing from the depths. <clears throat> but I, I think I figured it out here. So, a kobold comes running up to Bean. And it's 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 one you you don't know them, but you kind of like, you know, know them. It's kind of like okay. somebody you're familiar with named Fazil, F A Z I L. Um, nope, sorry, not Fazil. I'm wrong. Uh, Usa. Fuck, I fucked this whole thing up. Okay. <laughs> Scratch that. Scratch the whole fucking thing. It's not a kobold. It's a motherfucking rat, rat folk. It's a... What are they called? Um, fuck. Rat folk. Yeah. Sounds good. I'm pretty sure they are anyway. called rat folk. Is it just rat folk? I thought there was like a weird sounding name for him. Um, right. Yeah, so it's a rat folk comes up to Bean and her name is Usa. Fucked the whole thing up there, didn't I? God damn it. Okay. <laughs> rat, rat, rat folk is the name of the ancestry but they call themselves Yusoki. I knew there was another name. Uh, so this rat folk comes up to uh, Bean, because she she says, "Oh, Cobalt, uh, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here." Do you do you know Fazil? Do you know Fazil? He's a Cobalt. All Cobalt know each other, right? Fazil. Uh, I, I, I might. Uh, give me a just a straight up intelligence check. Society. Society check. No, yeah, there's no, there's, there's no. Is it society or intelligence? There's no society. Plain, it's society. There's no plain old ability checks. So it it would, yeah, society would probably be what you're after. Okay, here you go. <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck. Hero okay, point. Yeah. Dang. Can I do a hero point to re-roll that? If you want. Dang. Just right click the you right click the card, and hit re-roll using a hero point. The chat card. Right, right click. Uh, chat card. Uh, fuck, hang on. Hey, go, go this way. Mm. Go this way. There you go. Okay, click on like, the card. <laughs> You're over here. Yeah, right click the chat card where you roll where it rolled it and just hit reroll using a hero point. Paul, why you got all your dice rolling secretly, by the way, even when they're not secret checks? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm retarded. I'm quite, I don't I, know. I see the chat roll. Skills check, intelligence. I did a four. Yeah, we'll say that that whole blue area that is your card. Yeah. 
right? Just right. right right click anywhere in that card. Oh, okay, I see it. And then reroll using hero point. From a nat one to a nat two, but what? But because of our house rule, you get saved. <laughs> um, I think you know of Fazl, but you don't know Fazl. Uh, so you know that he is. Um, he kind of wants to be, you know, like the wannabe thugs, right? Little wannabe tough guys. Um. So you know him like in that way, like he's he's a petty petty criminal kind of guy. So I might okay. know him from like underworld lore. Maybe. I don't think he's known enough to be okay. underworld lore. Um, she says oh, he's. Yeah, you know him, okay? Uh, I need help. Faz Fazil needs help. Um, uh, he fucked up. He's he. He's running the Black Noon Gauntlet. Runs the Black Noon Gauntlet? The Black Noon Gauntlet. And um, I think it's a fairly well-known thing, because the Black Noon Thieves Guild is basically the only real open Thieves Guild. Yeah, I know exactly what that is. And their gauntlet is essentially uh, a series of challenges to try to recruit competent thieves. That's how you get jumped in. But... But this guy jumped into it and has been missing. Um, does it tell me for how long? It does not. Days ago. He went into the gauntlet days ago and has not come out yet. And the gauntlet does have its dangers to it. Uh, I'm going to ask her, like, can you tell me anything different or anything more that might help me? Uh, Where was he last seen? Going into the gauntlet? Just, That's just it. Going into just going into the gauntlet. Uh, he uh, he told me I should have stopped him. He told me he was going to go in. His family doesn't like it. His family thinks it's it's disreputable, disrespectful. Um, but nothing to do him but go in and. As far as his family knows, he's just disappeared. I'm the only one that knows where he is. Um, if 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 you could rescue him, if you could go into the gauntlet and get him out, um, and maybe we can, can can scare him straight. We can scare him into more respectable work. Do you, should I roll like a perception of some sort to know if I know anything about the gauntlet, like what I've ever heard about the gauntlet, or ask ask uh, your your best option there would be his underworld. Lore. Listen to that. Where did Fazl go to begin this gauntlet? Uh, it's it's kind of like a well-known secret. Yeah, I know exactly where where, where it starts. Uh, so it would not be difficult for you to to locate the entrance. Okay, so we don't need to roll dice for it. No. Okay. Oh. Okay. You know. Well, I think I think we have enough intimidation and scare tactics here to help Fazl. Um, we will take on this quest. We will rescue Fazl. Wait a minute. Get Do him we, straight. We don't we don't know about Baldrin's background, right? Uh, unless he shared it with you in oh, character, oh. no. We don't we don't know about Baldrin's oh. background with the Black Noon and stuff, right? Right. No. Okay. Sorry. Not yet, but I, I I tell Bean I know about it. Ignok says, uh, why should we help? Why should we help uh, bail someone out if they've gotten in trouble joining a group of thieves? This is my people. It will help my people. Uh, do you say this while Usa's there, or do you wait for her to leave, Josh? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm saying it in front of the rat. Okay. She says, "Oh, he's he's just a young dumb kid. He's a friend. He just doesn't he doesn't know the dangers. He's it's romanticized to him. If if well, I'm sure that having been in for days, normally people come, you know, finish it or or come back out unfinished in, in hours, not days. Um, I'm I'm sure that he will find a better path. Well, 
Well, we gotta help him. I mean, I had to come out here to help my brother for the same reason. So, yeah. I didn't need your help. Yes, you did. I told you I'm glad you're here. I didn't need your help. Well, he's like, I'm behind him and I'm going. <laughs> to everyone else. He doesn't see it, but everyone else does. Igno, would you I'm like just going to wink at you. Would you like me to do the same thing I do at the uh, Thanksgiving celebration and literally command your mind to run away from the table of food? Because I will do it and make you get out of my face if you do not shut up. I love you, brother. <laughs> I love you, too, sister. Um, but I think we should help. I say, I, I, say, I tell B, I say, I Rhett, tell... I'm going to warn you. If these thieves are, uh, have injured this boy or do anything else untoward, I may have to kill the thieves. Just kill the thieves. I don't care. They're thieves. I'm only worried about Fazzle. Okay. Fucking thieves. I say, I, if you all, if you all want to help this, if you all want to help this kobold, I completed the gauntlet many, many, many moons ago. I know what to do. Moonbeam. This is great. You are, you are a help. thief? Spits. A long time ago. Yes. Yes, I was a thief. There's no honor in that. Then never Brother. guessed, Baldrin. But you have to survive. And sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Sounds like the words of a weak dwarf. I don't think any less of you. My brother people is a could, little high flute. People could change. Like, like I said, that was many moons ago. Many. I do not believe Apparently, this. Apparently, Aenok's going to have a problem with this. I don't this. believe this. Uh, you have to do this. You have to do that. What about uh, doing the right thing even when it is hard? I. But that's not an easy path to walk. This is fair. Not all of us are born a stone fist. Then you, right. then you will help Big Knock. Then you will help Big Knock. Yes, this, fa this fuzzle sounds like a uh, sounds like a good kid in a uh, bad situation. It is the thieves that enticed him to run this gauntlet in the first place that I have disdain for. The young can be easily influenced. No doubt. Yes, they can. She's kind of shaking her head and <laughs> being um, silly. Yeah, so, uh... Alright, so, so I, I want to try to get... Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go find him right now. It's nighttime. I just kind of want to ask uh, Baldrin, um, yeah. So w what, what more can you tell us of what we're about to get into? Um, hey, if, oh, help. <laughs> I, I'm, my character knows what the gauntlet is, so. It does change over time. So, uh, so it wouldn't be the exact same. Like yeah, elaborate? We're, ta we're talking about 50 years ago for me. Yeah. So, so you know the basics. Um, uh, the basics are it's a uh, typically a series of you know challenges that would be appropriate to somebody trying to join a thieves guild. You know, traps, stealth. Okay. Um, things like that and the goal is to get a coin if you can get to the get to the middle of the gauntlet get a coin and get back out it's a coin that's got their mark on it um is it what is it that so basically you're you're going to do a set of skills um some parts of it might be timed um but you're going to do things that test the dexterity of your hands your feet um, acrobatics, um, picking locks, um, 
things of that nature. And uh, to get to the middle, well, it used to be the middle. I don't know where it would be now, but you used to have to get to the middle. And if you made it to the middle and you collected one of the uh, Black Noon coins, then you passed the gauntlet. But uh, very dangerous. Lots of pitfalls. It's a Beth ass love athletics. Yeah, athletics, um, cunning, acrobatics, thievery, obviously, stuff like that. Well, should we go ahead and try to take it on? We are, uh, it's not as if we, uh, cannot see in the dark. Uh, that's if this I say if this young kobold is in trouble, then uh, I wouldn't. I can't wait. I would prefer not Egg. to go uh, go sleep while he remains in danger. Ignok, you say the words "take on," right? Yeah. And I just bust into "take on me, take on me." Oh, never mind. Egg. I uh, deduct a hero point. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I think you should get a hero point for it. I'd like to nominate a hero point. Take it away from Paul. <laughs> what? Y'all suck. Well, we disagree. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's, it's, so it's different when you're the GM. See, hey, Have knows when I'm GM and Kingmaker, and he makes jokes. I'm like, I'm gonna take a hero point away from you, bro. When you're the oh, when you're a funny. player, you goof off. When you're the GM, you don't like it as much. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> did we did we ask the like how long a few days a few days yeah i think we should just i think we should go for it i think we as players need to decide like either we're wait. going to go sleep on it or we're going to pursue it no we're going to go stop like wait what well, right what, what time meandering. what time is it now yeah what time is it 10 Oh, okay. Well, I'm deciding feeling. for the group that we're going to pursue this. Um, <laughs> we're just doing right it. Now. Let's go. Come on. I'm like, yeah, fatigue's not go. gonna be a fact here. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> no, I mean, we'll get we'll get to sleep. Uh, whatever we do here is probably not gonna take more than a few hours. Hopefully, he said we got the, this. the rat said, um, usually this is something that's a matter of hours, not days. So, yeah, we got this. If we have to sleep yeah. in a little bit more the next day, so be it, you know. I'm going to say it takes you half an hour to get to the place to go in. Uh, there's, again, not a map for this. Um, I'm just going to drop you some tokens here uh, in this district. Oh, okay. See how things to roll from. I'm going to say i got a black screen right now. What's easiest, Have is if you just drop the player token and then use the little clown car thing that spits us out. Ah, uh, okay. Then you don't have to do one by one. <clears throat> um, Ooh, this so is it's, cool. You know, oh, this is our first time in the depths. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah. <clears throat> so, let me play the ambiance. Hold on. Oh shit, we had to go. We had to go down through Stone Breach too, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh, cool. The, the gauntlet like is. It. It's an old mining tunnel, so it's probably not, it's probably not even represented on this map. It's probably like back in these cracks or something, you know. Um, so this functions mechanically as an infiltration. It's number uh, oh, two, shit. wherever Hell two yeah, is. Dude. Never got to do any of these before. I'm excited. Hey, where's number two at? That's where it's at. The gauntlet. Oh, it does say the gauntlet, oh, doesn't it? it? Oh, two is over here. Follow my two. It's yeah, from these cracks. <laughs> wow. I'm good. What a, what a game <laughs> This guy's on another level. So, uh, this functions as an infiltration, all right, which basically means that you're trying to avoid giving awareness points. The more awareness points you accumulate as you go through the phases, the harder things get. You're alerting uh, the things in the infiltration to your presence. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's one of the, it's one of the victory point things, right? It, yeah. So are we are we gaining points also? We're like gaining points. Uh, I, I guess 
I think you're not actually gaining points towards your victory. You're you're bypassing challenges. Is there's three phases of challenges, and then you know you accumulate awareness points that'll make the challenges harder if you accumulate the points. Oh, okay. So we're we're doing. You're trying to avoid points. We're do- oh, okay, it's 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 inverted. Yeah. We don't want to fail our crit fail because that increases the awareness points as opposed to we want to succeed or crit succeed to increase our victory points. Right. I love it. Let me just read back up on this because this wasn't even on your your uh, journal like, yet. And there's like complications and opportunities and edges points mm-hmm. and stuff too, right? I'm yeah, there's obstacles you gotta bypass, and sometimes there's treasure. And is it using the edge points thing? Should I be like trying to quickly learn what the fuck uh, edge points are used for? It's using infiltration points. Um, so I guess it's like both. Like you're you're accumulating infiltration points to overcome obstacles while trying to avoid accumulating awareness points. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I, I, I think I remember this, right? Infiltration points represents our character's progress towards overcoming an obstacle. And each obstacle right. requires gaining a certain number. So sometimes Yeah. Sometimes one person can overcome an obstacle. Sometimes uh, you have to do it as a group. So it's not it's not like a uh, you got to get to ten infiltration points. It's like each obstacle has its own infiltration points. Right. But then and you're and then overall you have awareness points that are bad. <clears throat> okay. Does, so, does does this version of it use the edge points? Because I don't see anything about edge points in here. Okay. They probably just trying to keep it a little bit more simpler because like edge points is like edge points is like a shadow run thing they stole where. Oh, it's like if you have time to prepare, you can. Mm. I guess if you have time to prepare, the GM can give you so many edge points, and then when you fail or critically fail, you can spend an edge point to succeed instead. So it's like planning the heist. The edge points come from planning the heist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We And this isn't one we planned, so that makes sense that they're not... Uh, nice. I like the creepy ambiance music. Yeah. Is, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm excited to do a uh, infiltration because it is. Uh, All right. So the first phase Wait a minute, did you of say the infiltration. Have, did you say we have music? Because I don't hear music. There's ambiance, yeah. Yeah, I, I hear, hear it. Music. It's almost like a dungeon type. Is it music or just sound? No, no, it's the sound effects. Yeah, it's like dripping water or like dungeon type. Oh, okay. I can hear it now. I had the volume down okay. too low. Um. All right, so the first phase is finding Fazzle. Okay. Hell yeah. So you know you're you're going into these mining tunnels that have clearly been converted. Um, I think you know Baldrin. You know that. Uh, Occasionally, the Black Noon will send associates through to, like, clear out bodies uh, of people that failed or reset traps and perform maintenance and stuff like that. Uh, There's no signs of that. So whatever is in here right now is what Fazil has done. Okay. So, first obstacle... Hey Paul. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna DM you real quick. Uh, he sent you a dick pic. <laughs> Open it and share. Actually, I'm just gonna put in the Sky King's Tomb thing because I can't find you on Discord DMs. Yeah, m- make sure you have like that far left thing si- cer- selected, the one that's orange highlighted. Because if you have the middle ones, that's why your rolls are all rolling secret, even when they're not secret rolls. Yeah, the one that's far left, the public roll. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Unless you were intentionally just rolling blind GM rolls, like or whatever. No. Um, so where did the DMs go? Did you do it? Did you do it in Discord? He, he, no, he just it's in Sky King's Tomb channel. It's just a picture if you refer to open rolls. Okay. Let's see. All right. So 
So phase one is binding Fazl. And you're creeping through these dank, narrow, partially collapsed in some places, mine, mine passages. You keep your eyes out for traps. You see a few places where you can see signs of uh, a lizard creature, like a kobold, um, going through the area. And I'm going to get myself a piece of paper to have as notes for awareness and infiltration points. Um, and your first obstacle is confounding passages. It's a maze. Remember, Razor put all of the subsystems on the party sheet, Have So if you add the infiltration one, it might do a little bit of work for you. For the tracking of those points. Let's see. It's probably not going to do anything Let's different than what you were going to do with a pen and paper. It's just if, if you want to do it from the uh, the thing, it should help you. When I try to add it, it's not actually adding anything to the subsystem. Weird. You have to yeah, do, I'm not going to fuck with it. Yeah, yeah, you have to go to the subsystem setting at the top of it and like choose I did. the subsystem you want. I did. I dragged it down to infl infiltration. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. probably... I, I, I haven't I, messed with the infiltration one. I've only used the influence one, so I don't know. Uh, okay, yeah, I can I could make it work, but it's honestly faster just to use tally marks on a piece of paper for this because it's not going to be a long-term thing, you know? Yeah, I got you. <clears throat> All right, so you're trying to make your way through some, some maze-like passages, and you have three options for how to do so. So is this a group thing or it's a group? It's a group thing. It's a group thing. You gotta get a certain number of infiltration points as a group to get through the mazes. I'm assuming right. you don't want to. I'm assuming you don't want to split up. So no. I mean, <laughs> I I'm rolling great. So well, you don't have to. You don't have to be the one that rolls this. It's a group thing. So somebody else okay. can cover this one, and you cover stuff that you're good at. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. What, what we what we want to do is not what we want to do is have the people who are best equipped to roll on these things roll first because yeah if we fail or crit fail we gain awareness points here so if if, if like me and you know I'm really good at all three of these things actually so if me and one other person can get us through this without the people who aren't good at these things rolling that's what we want. I, I like that lores get lower DCs. I hate that characters without good ant can't take advantage of lore skills effectively <laughs> anyways. Like, I, I, even though I have cave lore, uh, it's the worst of these three for me to roll. Um, uh, I'm going to roll survival. Uh, okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Is any, does anyone, is anyone going to aid me on this? Roll or am I just? I should just send it. I would, but I, let's see. Does anybody else want to give this shot? No, I'm I'm, hab I'm horrible at all these perceptions. My best. Can if it, Igna is also survival. Trained, Igna is also trained in survival. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Though perception yeah. might still be better for you to roll because I think perception. fighters are expert at perception right off the bat. Oh, I am. If we're both yeah, going to be rolling, is. I don't think it makes sense for you to aid me. So I'm going to roll. I'm just going to roll. Okay. Um. Okay, I succeed. Okay. So yeah, you you start working out a path, but you don't get all the way through it yet. Jamie, do you see the checks he put in there? The cave yeah. lore, survival, perception? Yeah, perception is what I would do. Okay. Yeah, go, yeah, go ahead and roll it. Oh! Oh! Ooh, oh. There you go. Yeah, so uh, between the two of you, you know, you put your little stone fist heads together. And you you knock your way through uh, these these early maze like passages. You said first we got to find Fazil. That's that was just that obstacle or multiple. That, well, there's multiple obstacles to find Fazil. This is the, the phase is finding Fazil. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, okay. Stone fist. Now is me and Boulder and just following suit, yeah. and then when our time comes, okay. Yeah, you guys are all kind of just going together and letting who's good at different things take take their their chances. Yeah, yeah. There's like often with like yeah. the victory points things, like the chases. 
everyone ends up having to roll for the most part. But that's because it doesn't have the dual system of you're trying to gain points while also enemies gain points if you fail. On this, you want... You don't want, you don't want everyone want rolling because every failure means the Thieves Guild is like becoming more aware of us or whatever. Fair enough. Towards the <clears throat> towards the end of these maze-like tunnels, uh, at a crucial juncture that uh, Igna finds her way through, you see a scratch, a combination of scratches and like chalk markings about two feet on up on the wall. Um, does anybody speak Draconic? Yes. Okay. If you speak I Draconic, do. you recognize these are these are written in Draconic, at about kobold height. Okay. What do what do I need? Do I need to roll to translate this? Or uh, essentially, they're trail signs. So there's okay four things you could use. Okay. To translate the trail signs. Okay. Okay, because I do speak. Speaking cool. Draconic gives you a plus one to check to this. Okay. Plus one to the check. Yep. Okay, let's see. Go back. Uh, so let me do... So you don't have, you don't have, you don't have to be the one to roll this. No, okay. you don't. You just get a plus one to the check if you do roll because you speak Draconic. But it can also just be that you point it out to us and then I'm like, oh, well, I'm amazing at the survival skill, so let me interpret these trail signs. And just to be clear, this is an opportunity, not an obstacle. Okay. I don't know what that means, uh, but I mean, I know what the word opportunity versus obstacle means, so I like it. <laughs> I like it better. It's, um, yeah, it's okay. like an op so, opportunity what, for what, more information. Yeah. How's about being, because she speaks Draconic, um, aids my survival here. She points out that they're trail marks, and then I'm like, oh, okay, so they're in Draconic, but I still know trail marks, like, even if I can't understand the language, blah, blah, blah. The way you want to do aiding, Jamie, is you know mouse over, uh, so you get the the, the heads up display. Click on extras, click on aid, and then pick the skill, uh, which you know you could use perception here. You could use uh, society here, um, and then set the difficulty class, and uh, you're going to be using survival. Yeah, so Josh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it'll be a DC 10 for your, for your difficulty. Hang on. Yeah, same, same way as you did the aid before. You're, you're going to the extras part on the token tooltip and clicking aid. Hang on. We're going to concentrate. Okay, extra aid. And then, and then on, the drop, doing... on the drop down, pick uh, probably either perception or maybe society, or unless you can come up with another way that you want to aid him on this. Yeah, perception's 15. Let's see, difficult okay, class. Don't, don't put 15, put 10 for the difficulty okay. class. And then hit select. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'll stick with perceptions just because I think perception, we saw it. So okay. we, right? Yeah, you're looking, yeah, you're looking at it, you read Draconic, and you're like, yeah. you, all right, you, so, you, you all right. recognize that they're trail signs, and then you pass that info yep. on to me. All right, so let me do select. And it either does or So I'm rolling me. aid, okay. correct? I mean, all you got to do is put DC 10 and drop down to perception and then press select, and it happens automatically. Okay, let's see. I think I did that right. It didn't roll. Mm, it's kind of rolled, so not yet. What the hell? Okay. DC 10. Not 150. That would be extremely difficult. I'd be impressed. <laughs> okay. Uh, it just it says roll, so just roll? Yeah, hit roll. Gotcha. Boom. Ooh. All right, Ooh -hoo. plus two. Uh, and then I will use it immediately. Hell yeah. You needed it. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Aid, aid coming in clutch, baby. Yeah. All right, so it, it's basically describing um, 
trying to obstacles ahead. Oh, uh, cool. it's, it's describing that. Uh, let me see which one. Okay, it's describing a, a trap ahead, and it says that um, there's two traps: one that's hard to see, and one that's easy to see. And the one that's easy to see is trying to lure you into the one that's hard to see. Damn it, puzzle. Okay. Uh, so that basically, what mechanically what this means is you're warned, and so you get a the DCs to overcome that obstacle reduced by one because you succeeded on the on the opportunity. Okay. Gotcha. So, All right. Uh, so Ignox says, uh, "Thank you, being uh." You pointed out uh, what these markings mean in Draconic. I was able to uh, sort of uh, convert them to the uh, universal language of survivalists. And uh, there's going to be two traps ahead, uh, one of which will appear obvious to try to uh, bait us in to get caught in the, the snare of a uh, more well-hidden one. So be on the lookout for this. Okay. And so, um, you know, you continue. Jamie, uh, Jamie Daniels for a hero point. Sure. Uh, so yeah, you're getting, uh, you know, deeper into these caves. It's it's still dank and dark. You hear dripping noises, and you you see little scratches and stuff here and there, and fungus and. Uh, some bioluminescent mold, and it's, you know, it's generally a pretty creepy thing. And then you're starting to realize that some of this is psychological. Some of this is designed to put people off their guard, put them ill at ease. Um, and then you come across no. oh. a... Hey, Jamie D, did you give yourself the hero point I nominated you for there? Uh, let's see... You can do it from the party sheet or your own character sheet. Uh, okay. Just want to make sure that you uh, get the hero point. Yeah, I'm on my party sheet. Or my own character sheet. Let's see. Uh, right below your character's name. It says hero points. And then I uh, just left click that empty circle. Empty slot or whatever. Dot. All right, so I'm on my character sheet, and I'm looking down. Not down, up, right below your character's name at the very top. It'll say Bean yeah. through foot, and right below that, it says Hero Points. And but, then you yep, got click, it. You click the empty circle. Mm -hmm. Yep, got it. Thank you. Yeah, so make sure you have your Hero All Point right. when you need it. All right. Gotcha, so, thank you. Whoever it would be kind of leading the way here. In the front of the group, roll that perception check. I say Igna for sure. Yeah. I yeah, say Igna or Ignok. Yeah. One of the Stone Fist twins. She won't let me. Uh, she won't let me take the lead. Oh God! No! 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 Yep! Yep! Spider web in the face. Nope. <laughs> and she becomes a ninja. Okay. So yeah, you you come across the the trap that you were warned about. But the, the the writing has just warned you about, and you 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 see the obvious trap. You see the one that is supposed to lure you into a false sense of security. It's a, a very visible trip wire, along with some seams in the floor. I think I would point down and be like, "These <clears throat> motherfuckers!" I kind of walk over it. Hey, I want on. I want to attempt to disarm it. Okay. Uh, so okay. there's there's three options left for bypassing the trap. You can try to, you know, do some fancy acrobatics to get across, disarm it with thievery, or just jump across the motherfucker with athletics. And again, this is a group effort. Beat the shit. You don't out all have to make a check. <laughs> athletics. <laughs> wait, just wait. Just no. wait. Um, you could absolutely attempt to disarm if that's what you want to do, and roll your thievery there. Yeah, go go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, but I don't think you, oh, you don't, you don't have the custom CSS that makes the party sheet like all green. It's still got the like red mixed in with the green. Here. I used whatever yeah, you gave that. me. 
I'll have to share with you uh, my latest version of it. Well, actually, you know what? I took some of that out because Duraco built in some of it into his module. Have you? Is all your stuff up to date? Uh, no. You don't okay. update your modules? That's probably why. I was that was barely down here in time. So if it was today, then no. I updated them the other day. No, no, it was it wasn't today. I don't think. Um, yeah, I think I it should be I, up to date. I do need to send you a new copy of yeah, Custom yeah. CSS because I changed some other stuff too. <clears throat> There you yeah. go. Okay. So um, you just say you disable part of it, but you're not able to get everybody through it yet. Essentially, you haven't accrued enough infiltration points to get the group across yet. So those three checks are still valid for ways you want to help each other across. So, uh, okay. So when it okay. So when, you... so when it says um. When it's like a group obstacle, okay. So we do, we pull our points together. Mm -hmm. Okay, not everybody okay. has to roll, but we pull our points. Oh, um, and because you used thievery there, uh, the part that you disable was a, a projectile launcher, a, tr a dart launcher, and so you're able to recover the darts. And if cool. you each each dart has a little marking on it, uh, and if you can give me one of these checks, I can tell you about the marking. Um, I don't have high home lore. I wish I did. I feel like we should. Me and Josh should, but you don't get high home lore. Just somebody should have. I uh, see. So being a dwarf, one of you three hmm. should have dwarf lore, right? Not necessarily. I mean, you only not get you only get lore skills from I am not the background or any. ancestry feats or is it me or is it anybody? Anybody can do this. You can show them the darts, and anybody can do it. Okay. Uh, um, I have a crafting of plus five, so crafting's my best shot, even though that's the highest DC. I've got give that. it a shot, Balder. Um, a society is a two. Anybody got a better society than a two? No, yes. you, you rolling as crafting would be, I mean, being, being as a uh, plus yeah. three society, but it's still worse than you rolling crafting. Um, okay. uh, so I, yeah. I only have a plus three, so. All right, here we go. Come on, give me some good dice. Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I saw that 15. He's like, come on, give me some good dice. <laughs> uh... Wonk, wonk. Oh, fudge. Was it, what was that check for? To identify the markings on the darts. Identify oh, okay. marks on the dart. Um. Oh, we'll hold on to the darts. By the, by the way, hey, for for those type of checks where it's basically just recall knowledge, it's I find it, I personally find it easier to just tell people, like, if you want to know if you know what the markings on these darts are, send me recall knowledge. Oh, yeah, it's fair. I'm not used to having that. Do, doing it this way makes people think, like, I should be rolling on this. Whereas if you phrase it the other way, people will be like, eh, I don't think I care what's on the darts or whatever. You know? And it's easier <laughs> for you because you just get all the results. Um, yeah. That makes um, sense. So for, um, we still we still need to be getting through the traps, though. With the trap, yeah. Checks. You've got, you're not quite through the traps yet. So by, by the way, uh, acrobatics, have, thievery, athletics. We haven't had any individual obstacles yet, right? No, all been group. Okay, because I was I was brushing up on the game, the rules of the infiltrations just real fast, and I guess if we run into an individual one, everyone has to bypass it individually. Like right. everyone's forced to roll if it's an individual one. Like you got to scale a wall; everyone has to make their own check or whatever. Um, okay. Um. Uh. 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 So. Uh, Igno or Bean? Bean. Actually, I'm gonna say Bean. It. Uh. I'm going to I'm going to aid, aid Bean. Bean. I'm trying to think how much I'm going to use athletics to aid Bean's aid. athletics. But I'm trying to think right. what fictionally that looks like because I'm not like, not like th throwing her past the traps. Uh, yeah, it's like your spotter. She's going to run and you're going to like spot like I don't know. That's what I was going to say Cause like cuz we're overcoming this as a group. So I'm helping yeah. Bean. Bean. Help all of us. Yeah. Um, I feel like this is like a retake of 
Okay. It doesn't matter because Tossing the... I don't successfully okay. aid you, yeah. so I don't change your roll. Uh, so you don't need to put that effect okay. aid on yourself because failure doesn't do anything when you aid. Fair enough. I feel um, like it, this is tossing the dwarf, and but you're tossing the kobold. There's the athletics check for you there. I'll spit it back out again, Jamie. Okay. Yeah, so so, let's see. so, it, so yeah, if it, you trip knocked, this wire, looks for a place to or like a way to help aid her, but is, doesn't manage to. If you trip this wire, you're not going to get hurt. You're just going to get an awareness. Is that basically see, see. what's going to happen, Have? Um, right. Depends. <laughs> so, some of the things Paul might tell him, like, they get an awareness point and a trap hits him in the face or whatever. We're not going to know until we uh, hopefully don't find out. Ro oh, you got to roll that athletics, Bean. All right, ready? <laughs> yep. Why'd you do that? Ooh. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. Hold I'm it telling on. you, Jeff has hacked their system because both her and Jeff roll an unusual number of nat 20s. <laughs> Will you take that shit up with him when... Okay, so ignore. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you, you, you kind of help everybody and you get through the trap. Um, and just on the other side of the trap and around a corner... Um, you come across uh, a little, um, I don't think it's fair to call it a ravine, because it's not that big, but like a narrow kind of crack in the rock that if you were just not paying any attention or whatever, you might fall into, right? Uh, but something you could just easily like leap across with no check, right? Uh, but as you're going across it, you can you look down into it, you can see a corpse, a dwarf corpse down inside that crack. And it's kind of like wedged in and kind of uh, on like a little ledge. And it goes go down deeper past him. It's because he's like kind of precariously like wedged against one side on this ledge. And like you can't see the bottom. You don't know how far down this ravine goes. This little crack goes. Uh, but the, the, the Dwarven Corpse has uh, what looks to be a pretty full pack on it. Um, that sounds like an opportunity it? to me. <laughs> like, should we <laughs> I, I, uh, Ignok, attempt? Ignok says, look, uh, we should try to pull this body out. This pack looks like it may have a... Uh, uh, gear in it that could could help us and also uh, perhaps it would allow us to place the poor dwarf's body in a uh, more respectful position to rest. I want to try and pull him out. Yeah, okay, help. yeah. I'll help. Whatever we can do. I mean, there's kind of three ways you could approach it. My, my Kenny Acumen not having an ass till level three is not making a reflex save if I can help it. Um, yeah, I, I, Ignok's gonna go straight for the athletics because like before you do it, you know, like I said, like, gonna... he he does want to get whatever's on the pack or whatever, but he uh, um, also specifically just doesn't want to leave this dwarf's body like that way. To, even yeah. if he even if he can't take the body out for like a proper burial, even if he, that doesn't work out, uh, he at least wants to like get him out, lay him to rest in a better way, say a prayer over. Before you do anything, Josh, I, I think I would like touch you on the shoulder and say, "Brother, I'm really proud of you." Where no one could hear, I'm just whispering it to him, and I kind of pat his shoulder and then get back, and I'm ready to help him. Say, well, I appreciate that, but. Uh, Show your pride by uh, holding on to my foot so I do not fall down this ravine, okay? <laughs> so I got you, brother. I'm asking you to aid me, and then as well, Have, I'm going to cast guidance on myself as I pray to Angrad and say, uh, for, for, uh, uh, please uh, do not let me fall to my death this day. 
Yeah, but eight would be a DC eleven. I have no hero points. Okay, but Sorry. you rolled against DC fifteen, oh. and it was a DC eleven. Oh. Hey, so that is that is a success. Hey, hey, yeah. No, no, it's cool. The the yeah, default the DC default on aid, aid is fifteen. Now used to be twenty. Now it's fifteen with three master. But we use we use a um, house rule where the DC, DC instead of flat fifteen five, is five, five lower than the DC you are aiding. Okay. So Sorry. so what you would have done is you would have looked and saw that I was rolling against DC sixteen athletics, and you would have gone, yeah. okay, cool, it's eleven. Or because. You're the worst person at math in the world. You'd probably just say, hey, what's my DC? <laughs> yeah, hey, I have to ask you. I can't. Today in court, they were asking me, like. So the good the good news is yeah. I can just drop the eight effect onto myself and give myself the plus one anyway. So it doesn't matter that you Sorry. didn't do the DC right. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, and I am going to. Oh! Oh! Yes. Okay. Wait a minute. Nice. Oh, if I if I forgot, oh, I've forgotten to turn off the, uh, I've forgotten to turn off the roll dialogue on this one. So I shift rolled, thinking I was gonna bring it oh, up add to the, make uh, sure my guidance was on, but instead I skipped it because I actually have it on. So that's actually a crit success because I guidanced it. Okay. Um, I mean, as long as you're okay with my stupid. No. Me. Yeah, clearly. Um, yeah. So you're able to recover both the backpack and the body with that and so i will give you his stuff into the stash hey. jesus fuck Ooh, all we, right are we getting fat loot? right uh, bag, of holding. The... bag of holding ha ah. that's the that's second, second dude that's dude, the that's second, second time being and igna's aid has uh caused me like success i mean we're all success. it's a jamie thing you awesome. can't it's just ah. oh it's just jamie's <laughs> okay, so it's in the stash now. I'm I'm gonna look in just a second. I'm just uh unusual I'm, studded leather armor. I'm making sure my uh my set my notes are up to date. Um I pulled out the dwarf body. Hey, I wanna I wanna place the button before I look at the loot or anything. <laughs> I wanna, is it feasible at all for me to like it's not feas it's really not feasible for me to haul this body around. I'm just gonna have to no, like, not really. I'm just gonna have to put the body off to the side. I don't even know. I didn't even ask how old the, the corpse is, you know? But, um. No more than a, probably a couple weeks at most. Okay. Smells great, I'm sure. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. I, um. I'm just going to at least place it off to the side and, like, cover parts of the body in, like, some stones, you know? Help him yeah. be one with the Make stone, shift, dwarven brother. Makeshift cairn kind of thing. Yeah, say a little mm. prayer. And say a little prayer over the body. Um. As I'm going through the pack, I pull out the moonstone earrings, and I'm like, "Oh, yeah, this would it, this might this might please the barmaid." And I wink at Ignok. Might be a good gift here. <laughs> this is this is true, but uh, we uh, would discover this uh, as a group. I would uh, I would not uh, presume to take it to give it to as a gift. Without the blessing of the entire group here, uh, who may would rather uh, sell it for the for the the coin. Bah. And then when no one, uh, but when no, but when no one uh, says like, "Nah, you can't do that," he's like, "Okay, cool," and he takes it for that reason. <laughs> he says, oh, Sorry, guys, I'm having like a hot flash or something. So. As I am a. Uh, is it okay for me to leave the coins on the stash shave? Because I'm taking everything off else off. Yeah, yeah, and I'll leave the coins. I'll just just read them. It's fine. Yeah. Um, goat carving. Uh, I say, Baldrin, why don't you take this uh, uh, elixir? The... Was that was that meant to be uh, was that meant to be unmystified already, Have? It's fine. I I should have mystified it, but I didn't. So whatever. Okay. Just, I was just gonna, yeah. Yeah. I just didn't want to reference it that I know yeah. what it is. Take error in your favor. <laughs> um, sure. I say, why don't why don't you take this, Baldwin? It sounds like you have a past as a uh, maybe trickster. Uh, might come in handy. I'll tell you about my past one night. Sounds good. 
Yeah. Um, um, so if I take something, hey, what do I do? Drag it to your character. Yes, you drag it to your character. Uh, Jamie, we need you to, we need Igna to take that unusual studded leather armor. Leather I say, I say, uh, yeah. I will uh, try to uh, identify the magic on this armor. Uh, wait a minute. Hey, do I know it's magical? I think it's fairly clear. I, I haven't, I haven't, uh, you know, I didn't cast read or on it or whatever. I don't have that prepared. Well, where's so the... I just want to make sure. That's usually oh, how we do it. Like, you know, it's magical because like, whatever, but, um, Dash. Otherwise, it's like, read aura. I read aura. Um, I read aura. By the way, uh, GM, I read aura. I'm, uh, I'm going to read aura this time. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, just, yeah. I can't. I'm going to be encumbered if I carry anymore because I'm already hauling right. around took like it. I took it. fucking crossbow. And what about the silver else. pieces? Can someone, like. No, no, no. Don't, we don't need to take those out. Yeah. So he should be distributing. Yeah, he's just going to spread those out to us. I say, I'll, I'll uh, try to identify the magic on this uh, armor uh, later when we are not in the middle of, uh, well, this. And then, uh, okay, cool. Dude, this infiltration shit is fun. Yeah, yeah I like I'm gonna, it. I'm going to make one for Kingmaker now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's not. All right, so we're coming up on our first individual obstacle. Oh, okay, uh -oh. I don't like infiltration anymore. <laughs> yeah. uh, I got to roll. I got to stand on my own two feet now. <laughs> uh, so there's a wide pit full of jagged spikes. And you can see oh. these bones all kind of impaled on the spikes. And they've a narrow beam, a narrow wood beam has been laid across the pit. So you could try to shimmy along the beam or you could try to jump over the pit. Now, narrow, like narrow enough for a kobold to walk? Narrow through? enough to even a kobold's going to have to make the acrobatics check. <laughs> uh... And each of you has to get across this one on your own. This is not a group one. So everybody's going to have to roll something here. Uh, how wide is the pit again? It doesn't give me numbers for the wide. It just You're going to have to make one of these two checks. Uh, Unless you're going to use magic or something to bypass it, you're going to have to make one of these two checks. Mm. Testing, testing. Yep. Testing. Yes, I'm gonna try to the accurate. Well, let's testing. see. What do I? Testing. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody's watching our the stream and said that I'm really quiet on the stream. I guess. Mm. No, I, mean, I hear you fine. Yeah. No, I'm trying to figure out yeah. why I'm quiet on the on the stream, but I don't know. I'll, I'll Every time out. I watched it, I couldn't hear you. I could hear everyone but you, just so you know. I wonder if I was just okay. trying to gain up on the mic, but I'm, I'm just worried it's going to impact, you know, the other stuff. Turn your bitch ass down if I have to. Yeah, so Igna, <laughs> Igna jumps across pretty easily and lands on the other right. side. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do athletics. I need to wait 15 minutes to let my guidance immunity wear off. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try athletics. Mm -mm. Uh, no. Do you have any hero points? Uh, yes, shit. She was given one. She should. Yeah, yeah she let me re-roll you a hero it. point. Okay. Ooh. So yeah, you after oh a God. narrow scrape, you, you jump across... And you kind of pinwheel a little bit on the edge. But, uh... I high-five her. Yeah! yeah. Right? And the high-five right. pushes her into the, into the pit. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Just a little, little uh -huh. tap. Little tap. I let her little hand hit mine. Hey, I'm uh, gonna cast... Tap. I'm gonna cast Guidance on myself. Okay. Drag the effect oh. to your token, so that you, you should be able to toggle it on when you do your roll. If you target yourself, Paul, before you cast spells like Guidance, it will automatically apply the effect on you from the action support engine, by the way. Okay, so then I go to my skills. Now you can, I mean, you can just roll from, from these, and it should still. Okay. Acrobatics, my spell effect is on, right? Yep. Plus five. That's not right. 
Nope. Why is it not? What am I doing wrong here? Look, if I know, I can't see it. What are you talking about? So I, I've got the little icon on my, above my name. When you click goal. on the roll, it should have like a little toggle for you to toggle on the guidance. It should automatically be toggled on. No, uh, sir. Gui guidance is set on by default. Yeah, it says normal roll, public roll, always show dialogue, roll plus five, modify. Wait. Are Are you looking at the um? Are you looking at the the roll dialogue? Yeah, the roll dialogue, yeah. Does it say, like, modifier, dexterity, attribute, plus whatever, train, plus whatever? Yeah. That's Then you're at the right place. So your dexterity and your training should add up to be five, but, like, you don't really need to be looking at that because it's just calculated automatically. You just need to make sure that the guidance is toggled on. And then hit roll. Which it should already be. So down at the bottom, it should say roll parentheses plus six. No, it says roll parentheses plus five. Then you don't have the guidance toggled on. Do you do you understand what I'm saying when I say the guidance toggled on? No, I just have the little icon on. No, no, no. on the on the roll dialog. Like it should it, 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 just say guidance status plus one, and then there's a toggle off and on. Nope, it's not there. Tell me for a second you didn't just put guidance immunity on yourself instead of guidance. No, it's, I, I checked that already. <laughs> I checked that already. Okay, so... It's okay, Paul. When I bring it up, it's there. It says dexterity. It says trained. It says armor check penalty, where it's crossed out. And it says guidance. And you don't have guidance toggled on. You just hit the little toggle button on the far right where it says on, off, on, off. Toggle guidance on. And then hit roll. Okay, skill, check, acrobatics, modifier type, dex, trained, on, on, armor penalty check, guidance, on. Okay, there we yeah, go. Yeah, roll. You big scrubby ass bitch. Still failed. Oh, and you didn't even fucking roll from the thing I tried to get you to roll from, but yes, you still failed. <laughs> <laughs> look, I look, I, I love you guys the pieces. Paul, Jamie Miller, I love you two so much. I will never be able to understand how you guys can look directly at something and still not read it. Like it took you like three full fucking oh. minutes to see the word guidance. <laughs> like I just You're right. I wish I could get inside your brain and just understand how is it possible that that how can you be looking with your own eyeballs and not be able to read the fucking uh, word? Gosh. <laughs> Blank. Blank. Wonderful, perfect husband. What? You look in the fridge all the time, and there's a ketchup bottle right in front of you. You can't find it. I can find life. the word God, oh, I just can't find a, the ketchup bottle. Man, you're, you're, not, you're not wrong about that. If I'm looking for a fucking bottle of condiments in the fridge, I'll never find it. But if you, but if I'm looking at a thing with a number on it, easy. Like I'm never gonna miss a number. Anyway. So failing that, Baldron, does not mean you fall into the pit. Oh. It means that you get you you get across, but you do so noisily, and you would accumulate an awareness point. A first uh, first awareness okay. point, yeah. I ain't as nimble as I used to be. It's okay, old man. Proud of you. So I um, I cast Let's get a, like a senior citizen like retry. Yeah. yeah. Nope. I cast rousing splash on myself before I go, like just right before I jump. I just like. Do a little spell, and you see like water just. You see, you see like a little, a little opening in the air, and water splashes down on my face to like wake me up, and then I go for my jump. Yep, no problem. You get across, baby. Was it? Wait a minute. Was it? This wasn't the gap where I climbed down and got the body out, right? No, so we different place. Yeah, different how, place. How far across? How far was this? It didn't give me a number. Oh, it just said just these are the these are the checks. Yeah. Okay. Just taking notes. That's all. Yeah, like I said, we had a crack where the body was, and then a pit. All right. So who? What's the, what's the marching order here? This is the narrow tunnel. I'm first. Uh, You're going first. Igna, Ignok, Bean Baldron. I would guess. Or do we put the? Yeah, I guess we put the squishy guy in the back. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> we just then, hope nothing comes from behind. Igna, 
I need you to make that, that beam. I need you to make that perception check there. Ooh, baby. Good okay. Eye. Character has good perception. Okay, so right before you step into the shit, basically, you see a little snare ahead of you, and you stop. You avoid it. However, <laughs> on a regular success, um, this basically this, this hammer, like a spring-loaded hammer, shoots up at you, tries to hit you, and you avoid the hammer. But as you avoid the hammer, you stumble into another snare, and you take a little bit of damage. Uh, Dude, this is first blood. Yeah. <laughs> Shite. Shite. So you actually take half that. So you take one damage. Just, um, just so. Half button, Jim. Though I think it might mess up. There's like a rounding error issue with multiple damage types. No, okay, no, no it, it worked. worked. Good. Um. So the the hammer looks like this. The hammer was designed to to knock you prone into these other snares, and you avoided the hammer and avoided the prone, uh, but you got knocked into this like barbed wire whirly gig um, and the, like an acid spewing spigot. Yee. And uh, as you do that, you see. Uh, nope, that didn't work. Uh, you see a little green-scaled kobold. <laughs> a little green-scaled kobold rushes out with a sword, and he goes, "Ah!" What? <laughs> you got, you got, <laughs> hell yeah, dude! That's GM shit right there. You got high enough pitch that your mic stopped picking you up. <laughs> oh. So he, this little kobold, little green-scaled kobold, runs out screaming, "Ah! You're never gonna kill me!" You can't kill Fazzle! And he's charges towards you. No, no, we don't want to kill you! I'm like... I'm going to step in and go, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, you know that scene in Star Wars where Han Solo charges in and then immediately turns around and charges back out because he's just charging a room full of stormtroopers? Yeah. That's kind of what yeah. Fazzle does. That's kind of what Fazzle does here. When he comes okay. around the corner and he sees that like there are living people that his traps did not kill, he just skids to a stop. Well, I got my, like, my, my flail thing, and I'm... Oh. What do I sound like right now? Normal. Mom, can you please help me with the gameplay? <laughs> what do I sound like? What do I sound like right now? Am I... Am I, like, way too loud? No. Oh, okay. I turned up the gain on my actual mic, and I'm wondering if it'll help with the issue... Uh, with the with the OBS, you know, with the stream. He's mm. cute. Oh my god, I love Fazzle. He's so, He's so cute. cute. If my character dies, I'm playing him. <laughs> <laughs> huh. um, Look at his little tooth. I was like, I think they forgot to make his token small. Is he a medium-sized kobold? <laughs> no, he's normal. They just, I, don't, they didn't really give him a full token. I don't think. Oh, oh they what? did. They Is gave it? him a full thing, and it's not. He has an okay. actor sheet, but he's not listed as small. It looks no. like it looks the same as ours, kind of. Yeah, he's just not scaled down to small size. He's like list. He's like medium size according to the his actor sheet or whatever. I think is he's cute. Is all. Um. Uh. Are they? Uh, no, it says he. It's it's it lists him as small. It just didn't scale it for whatever reason. Oh, his token doesn't have the automatic scaling turned on or something for some reason. That's weird. I thought I think it's a default thing, but hey, my guidance menu is gone. Um, he says, uh, or I mean, yeah, Ignok, Ignok says, uh, we are here to help you, Fazel. Uh, that that's great, but uh, how did you know to come in here? A rat. 
and well, a, a rat folk, a, uh, yeah. I think they called themselves uh, Yisoki. She, her Lisa. name was, yes, that's the one. Well, that, listen, that, that's great. Um, so you came in to, to help me finish the gauntlet. Great, let's go. And he starts no. marching deeper, he starts marching deeper into the, into the maze. I say, Bal Baldrin, convince this kobold he needs to leave here. He's not cut out for this. That's exactly what needs to happen. I say, hey, wait a minute. Hey! What? I ran the gauntlet many years ago, and I'm just going to cut it to you and give it to even, you straight. Even better! Come on, let's do this! I'm just going to give it to you straight. And, hey, if I'm going to use... I'm going to use bullhorn, and I'm going to use intimidation, and I'm basically going to be like, you know. Trying to coerce this little kobold. Like, I'm going to, yeah, because he's going on, so I'm going to use bullhorn, and I'm going to use intimidation, and scare the bejesus out I'm gonna of give him. You a, I'm going to give you a plus one on your check for using bullhorn, but I'm also giving you two awareness points for using bullhorn. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> right. Um. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Rem remember to put yeah. your remember to put your um spell effect out there, Paul. I'm pretty sure he actually gets a bonus from the spell. By the way, hey, a status bonus. Okay. If you give him a circumstance but, bonus too, that's cool. But I think. Well, all right. I'm gonna do it. All right. So to do all that, I need to. Make sure, yeah. Make sure you cast the spell first. Go cast the spell. Done here. Yes. Drag. Yeah, plus one effect. status bonus to checks to coerce an auditory performance. To me. Then I'm going to use intimidation, which is right here. If you are giving it, if you're giving him a circumstance bonus, also Have, tell him how to do it because he'll have to manually add that one. All right. First of all, are you clicking from your character sheet? Or are you clicking from the role that I put in chat? You better be clicking from the role I put in chat, or I'm gonna bitch slap you back to Africa. All right, so in chat, uh, <laughs> see where it says DC 21 intimidation. Oh God. Okay. So you click mm. that. Click that. Turn and on then bullhorn. turn on bullhorn, and then where it says modifiers by blank, you can put like whatever you want there. Plus one circumstance. Hit add, and then make sure it's toggled on. Hit add. And then that's toggled on. Make sure so, it's on circumstance. Put in a yes. plus one, and then press add. You don't actually have right. to put a description if you don't want. You just can't. Yep. All right. Here we go. And make sure it's toggled on, and then it is plus nine. Maybe. Yeah, but twenty one's not. Yee. All right. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. No, no, no. Don't wait a minute. It's I fine. What I was gonna say, I want to. I was gonna aid you by grabbing him with my athletics, but it wouldn't have. It would, wouldn't stack with the circumstance bonus Hey, already gave you. So, Yes. Okay. He says he, he cowers down when you do that. He says, Shut There are Zolgaths in here. Move along. But Let's go. <sighs> okay, listen, listen, listen. I, there's so many riches. That you could recover in here. Uh, there, there, there's, 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 there's treasure, and there, uh, there's loot, and there's, there's, there's fortune and glory to be had. Uh, none just of help that me. Is, none just of help that me finish. Life. We're, we're almost there. Just help me finish. It, uh, alone, you're right. Alone, I would never make it. But you're here now. Help me finish. Listen. And. Listen, I want the riches, okay? Uh, but you have to agree to you're not cut out for this. And once we're done here, you go back and uh, yeah, find something respectable to do. Go to go to a temple. Take a job as a assistant, whatever. You're not going to become a member of the Black Dune. But if you help me get the coin, I, I could be. Could be what? 
A member of the Thieves Guild? No, you will not be a, become a member of the Thieves Guild. Not unless you want this. And I take out my great axe. Well, I don't want that. Uh, okay. I still get bragging rights, though, right? Finishing the gauntlet? Mm. Yes, I guess. Though you would have had help doing so. Well, we don't need to tell him that part. And he starts walking deeper into the dark. All right. So he he did sir he did agree like he's gonna abandon this path, but we still gotta help him finish. At least like right. that's what he. All right, all right. And Ignok is just like he just uh, looks around at the rest of them and just kind of shrugs like I guess <laughs> he said there's he said there's riches. I like gold. Uh, Mom and Dad aren't gonna pay for everything, but I I spit out the information for coerce paul because i'm assuming what you did there was like an act a coerce action um you know to convince him to listen to us or maybe it wasn't if it was then that well i mean applies. it it was but it wasn't okay um because it, it was it was it was just part of the infiltration it was part of the infiltration okay. um to convince him to leave without finishing, you had to make those checks, which you succeeded at. And if you had pressed the issue, he would have left with you. But he, okay. his job was to convince you, sure, to go forward. Just, just, uh, uh, but yeah, just, just a heads up, Paul, for in the future when you do, if you do go like, hey, NPC, you're going to do what I say, whether you like it or not. That crit success and success is what you get when you coerce that way. Um, Basically, like, they do what you want, but then if you only regular succeed, they might decide to act against you later or whatever. Um, right. Doesn't sound like this guy's... That's going to be a factor here, but... Oh, right, no, he's, let's follow he's, him. He's, he's, he's afraid of you. Um, okay, so... I, I, going I, I, forward. I, 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 I saw, just real quick, I say, um, Fazl, what did you say? Don't make noise. There are what? Zolgath? Zolgath. Um, I think about whether or not I know what a Zolgath is. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, let me see here. What is their identification? Society or lore? Okay. And you got that. You do not know what a Zolgath is. I say, like, uh, what is a Zolgath? Um, they're, they're these lizard critters, and they smell awful, and they eat the, 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 the people that die in here. And sometimes they attack if you, if they, if they know you're here, so we gotta be quiet. I say, so, so Ignok says, you're saying they are, uh, smelly lizards. And he's just like trying to stifle a laugh, like because he this because Fazil is also a smelly lizard. He's been in here for however long. <laughs> just, yeah, he, he he completely uh, like completely misses your irony, right? I, I, and I, 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 just, yeah, they're like they're like you're they're like you know they're like tall. They're like five feet tall, six feet tall, and they're they're these 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 slimy and they stink and and they eat people. It is no good. Hmm. Well, if they. Make the mistake of trying to attack us. We will end them. Sounds great. Alright, and then I follow. <laughs> Alright, so you come on this uh, this small cavern, and as you're coming up on it, uh, it's, a, it's a weird, like, kind of oblong, smooth walls on this cavern, and you see, like, a drop of water fall in the cavern and drip, and then the drip just echoes everywhere. Throughout this cavern, it's like a, it's an acoustic sounding chamber. Oh man, I bet that sound amazing in here. Every sound is amplified, and so this is another individual challenge where everybody has to get across without making too much noise. Okay. Um, three options. All right. Oh my god! 
Uh, okay, so that's an eight. That's an awareness point. And you also, um, you also take one sonic damage, Jamie. The the the, the noise you make getting across the cavern echoes against your eardrums in unpainful ways, and you take one sonic damage. I think everyone. Would see that. Okay, Baldrin, you you sneak right across. You don't make any noise. You you you, you know you find a few quiet spots where the acoustics are just a little bit easier to handle, and you sneak through. Okay, Bean, that's a failure. That's another awareness point. And you take one sonic damage to Bean and Ignok. Hero pointed? I hero pointed. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, uh, I prayed to Angrad to help me zero in and find uh, a quiet way across. And uh, I didn't have to hero point, but did succeed. So just so so you can kind of understand the mechanics here, you just hurt, hit the first AP threshold. And so... Essentially, the Zolgats are alerted, and so now all the DCs are harder. Okay, okay. So. Cool. Um, yeah, so at the... Question? I think it's cool. Was, was, did it show that I took a pip? You took a damage? Does that show? Did you take it? Did you, take it? Did you make yourself take a damage? Let me see where... Forgive me. If you go to your token, at the I means just select your token. Yeah, let's see. You should have where it says where it says twenty one underneath your token, your health. Uh, it's not. Or just right click your token once. Yeah, nothing. What's going on? It's like these little things come okay. assign statics effects toggle. Yeah, I, I, I I gave you the damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If okay. You, you're in the right That's place, Jamie. You're in the right place, but if you yeah. right when you right click your token and it brings up the status effects, yada yada, right underneath the token, okay. you should see your health. Should say like, well, mine's okay. twenty, but and it you can edit your it, how much you have from there. Okay, it was weird. It was like coming up with just like four little things on the side, but when it coming up with that box for oh, my okay. Oh, okay. status. But um, yeah, I mean that's not yeah. Ordin ordinarily, you don't update your HP from there anyway, but that is a way to do it if it's uh. In case okay. like this. <sighs> okay, so we alerted them a little bit, but we bypassed the obstacle. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> just past that, you know, you, you continue a little ways through, you know, the, the chambers are still dark, and you could tell it's, you're making progress because it's getting um, more creepy. Um, the, the, there's less sign of people having passed this far. Um, and, you know, it's, it's more morose and, 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 and lonely and, and just kind of dank. And, uh, you come across this, yes, that's, yes, it's already happening. You're, you're fine there. Uh, you come across this tunnel and it's just filled with fungus. Dozens of different species of fungus. And I think, let me see who would be the best one for this real quick. Overview skills. I'm good at nature. You're the one that's best at both of those combined. So yeah, uh, Ignok, you notice that one of the fungus species growing here is a particularly rare and valuable fungus that only grows where somebody has died a tragic death. It's a fungus called Ergothoa's eyebrows. Hmm. Uh, Ignok, Ignok says, uh, hmm. Ergothoa's eyebrows growing here. That is a valuable fungus. We should try to harvest some of it. You said it only grows where somebody died? 
Well, somebody has died a tragic death. Oh. Tragic death. Sadly, it only grows where uh, someone's died a tragic death. Is it? It's not like known to be a thing that you shouldn't harvest because fucking you get cursed by undead shit or something. Is it? Yeah, no, it's, it's just it's it's like a rare valuable okay. fungus. <laughs> Let's tear off the eyebrows. <laughs> no, say, uh, it's unfortunately only grows where uh, someone has died a tragic death, but uh, there, is, there is value in, in it. Uh, perhaps we try to harvest it. I keep forgetting to advance time, so once in a while I'm just hitting it a few times. Um, yeah, so you could try to harvest it with a few different options. Imagine being a, all of you plebes who aren't trained in all four of these. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, so I'm fitting because I've... It's fitting because I found it or whatever, right? But yeah, I'll, I'm going to roll nature. Uh, I'm going to roll nature. Uh, do you have a way to aid gathering nature. the fungus? It, is gathering this like... Um, Am I risking something here? Like, like when I roll this, uh, what am I risking? Like, uh, not gathering a good amount of it, or yeah. poisoning myself, or do I know? No, it's just it's just how expertly you gather it, how much value you can garner from it, basically. Okay, I was just trying to think about how she might be able to help or whatever. Well, I, am well, I, being I think careful? we were all trained the same way. way. You know what, you know what I mean? So I know, so I know how, how to help you. you. Do you have nature? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Five. I mean, I'm. Pretty I'm pretty substantial. I mean, I'm plus seven. I know. I know. Okay. All right, so Jamie, how do you do the assist? What do you do? Yeah. So, yeah. So you just you just help me. Uh, you help me pick it. You help me. Yeah. Yeah. You point out. You point out the best places to. You know. You're, you're helping make sure I don't accidentally stomp on parts of it, or whatever. I mean, like, no, calm down. Calm down. Go slow. Which skill are you going to be using, Josh, so we get the right DC for her? Nature. We're both we're nature. both using nature. Okay, so it's going to be DC eleven to aid. Drop down to nature, and it looks like you already got the DC. Yep. There you go. Oh. oh. Nice. Yep. So I get a plus one. Um, okay. And then I'm going to roll mine. Uh. Oh, man. No hero, no hero points. I have none. I have none. No, I, I have a hero point. It's ten nineteen. I don't, I don't, I don't think about what time it is in the session when I'm deciding whether to use a hero. Oh <laughs> you, like, you, you, you would think. Daniel, 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 get over, get over it. it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> <You> would, <laughs> wait, why did you call right. me Daniel Day Lewis? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Stop, 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 stop. I'm giving Jamie a hero point for calling you Daniel Day Lewis as a method actor. <laughs> is that why you called me Daniel Day Lewis? Because yes. I'm acting too much. Yes. Get over yourself. <laughs> Love that you. was such a good hero point, Jamie. If you don't use that shit, that can roll over. You can have that I, next week if you don't I, use I it. I love you, Habe. I have, <laughs> I, have a, I have a sickness in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start giving there will be blood monologues, Mitz. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, okay. okay. Are, we, are we keeping I, the failure? I, no, no, no. I am, re I am using the hero point. I just, I'll, I, whenever I'm GMing, I always think it's funny because. Jamie's always, she always says that. It's like, the session's almost over. You should your points, guys. <laughs> I, honestly, you'd think that's the kind of optimization bullshit that would come from me more than anyone, but... Um, but, I, cool. So, it turns into a crit success. We like it. All right, so I put it in the party stash. Uh, you successfully gather uh, every bit of the fungus that you can find. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know oh, if I should. Yeah. I don't know if I should be f flattered or insulted at being called Daniel Day. Flattered <laughs> because, because of my role play. I mean, he's a great actor. So I mean, if I'm evoking him, wonderful. Um, whoa! If only, if only, if only you, you could be quiet, quiet like, like he was those fifteen minutes <laughs> in that one movie. Oh yeah, I could never method act yeah. being in the silver mines for the first twenty minutes of the movies, not saying a single word. Yeah, yeah. Nope, couldn't do that. I'd need like separate takes. <laughs> um. Wait a minute, each one of these is only worth one gold? <laughs> For mushrooms, that's pretty fucking good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being we greedy. We just did all this shit and used zero points I'm for being, three gold. I'm being greedy. Well, no, because they're probably sell for full value, right? 
treasure. Yeah, they're considered a treasure. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good value then. Um, plus, that's just cool, man. I like it. Yeah. I like the flavor of those mushrooms and stuff. Okay. Well. A question. Do, does Fazl not recognize this fungus as something valuable? No. Or is he just ignorant? He's, okay. he's, <laughs> he's a plebe. <laughs> gotcha. All right. So we come across uh, another obstacle. We can tell we're getting close to the, the heart of the, uh, the gauntlet. And we got another obstacle in our way. It's a group obstacle again. So not not individual this time, and it's a deceptively simple locked gate. Oh, I have a thieves tool. I think Baldern uh, Baldern is your your thief user oh, gotcha. guy. Yep. Right. Yeah, Bean, Bean is only one worse at it, so I mean it would be a it would be a fine mm. opportunity to try to aid him if you wanted to, Bean. Mm. This is definitely something Igna and Ignok are going to be on the back, you know, back yeah, seat yeah. for. Well, the thievery part, we could do athletics if yeah, needed. Yeah. We'll punch the gate. Huh. So I'm going <laughs> to yeah, aid. You can aid me, yeah. So do you know how, what you're doing? Yeah, so go down aid. to the aid, go down to thievery. How much points is that? It's going to be DC 10. Thievery, 10 points. When does the on mech would go to 15? Because the default DC default. for aiding is 15. All right, there you go. That uh, ooh. Shit. Okay. So you Bump. don't you don't hurt him, but you don't help him. All right. All right. Ready. Hey, yep. I've been rolling like shit lately. Couldn't couldn't be Jeff. You also failed to open the lock. Yep. You are. Damn. And, Sorry, guys. And those are two. That's another. That's another awareness point there for the failure to. Get that lock. I say, ah. I say, <sighs> Baldrin, seems like your thief skills are uh, rusty. Let yeah, me, like this no. damn lock. Let oh, me, no. let me this show you tight. how a cleric of Engrad deals with a locked gate. And I'm going to roll athletics. I'm not going to wait on an eight or anything. I'm, this is going to be sending. Fuck! <laughs> You're just Since making me. I... <laughs> Since I ate it, another him, awareness put... point. <laughs> so I just, I'm like, <laughs> shaking it. I get mad. I, I think I get mad that I don't. I get mad that I don't do it as easily after my bravado. So I just kind of, I just yell. I just go. <laughs> <laughs> so since I aided him, I wouldn't be able to roll. To you, no, you could. I mean, right. you, you guys keep trying. However, you want to try to open this oh, thing. Okay. Just every time you fail, you get an awareness point. Can we get? <laughs> can we... Hey, can we just go over top of the gate? I like no, it's, it's a portcullis that's like locked to the ground. The gate that locks it, like they'll get the floor level locking the portcullis down. So you're basically either just trying to like break through it or pick it. <laughs> so, right, what, is, what does Igna say? Because surely she, because she knows she's stronger than Ignok. So like, what does she do after I screw up trying to open the gate, Jamie? <laughs> I, think, I think that I would just be like, <laughs> <laughs> She like, hears me do my head. battle cry, and she does one too. <laughs> I don't think you hit it. We're trying to probably pull it up, like force it up, right? Okay, okay, whatever. Or, or is it up. open or up? It's up. Oh, okay. So I'm trying. I'm trying to pull it up. The the check is in the chat, Jamie. You should roll it too. Okay. God, I hope you have critically Athletics. fail. I, no, I want to get to the next threshold of of awareness. I just, I just, I just want to see what's going to happen. <laughs> Athletics or thievery? Yeah, it's in the chat. It says DC 18 athletics. Ah. Oh! <laughs> okay. Do you? Is on fire. How you do it? How you get this? How you pop it open? What do you do? I go, I go into a deep squat, squat and I just and I just ooh, and I like pull it up, and you hear me pass gas. Wait a minute! This is a group <laughs> obstacle, but we only like, needed one point, and we did all that nonsense. <laughs> Just yep. for one person. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, the whole time doing it, I'm like, oh, that's amazing. These, these sounds, sounds coming, out, coming out, out of me, and I'm just, oh. yeah. Game two. Okay. <laughs> so, I say, that's, I say, that's how, how you do it, brother. brother. Once, I, Once I, get I get it up, and I'm like, oh, and oh, I'm in the ground. ground. You, you, you get through this obstacle, and you're, you're descending down a tunnel. It's a downward sloping, slightly downward sloping tunnel, and you see these five foot high 
iron double doors with the big black noon symbol carved into them. Hey, is this the same? You, the one you came a different way, but this is the what you remember as being the end of the gauntlet. Aye, this is the end, for it, sure. Is the black is the black noon symbol like is that? Just something everybody would know. Um, it's yeah, it's a a a, a sun mostly eclipsed by a jagged mountain. Cool. What are you check gonna do? For, you gonna open the door? Check for traps. Yeah. I mean, several of you are searching, and so I'm doing that by the scenes whenever you need it, so you don't have to worry about that. You do need to fill in your exploration thing on the on the carriage sheet. We'll worry about that next time. Uh, we're almost out of time here. I know <laughs> some of you said you were searching. I was like, so. Yeah, I'm the I'm the only one with an exploration activity on in here. Uh, we'll, we'll I'll I'll yell at them about that next time. I'm lucky if I can get a roll an aid roll properly. So, <laughs> hey, hey, we're learning. We're learning. They're getting. We're there. getting there. We're getting there. So you push the doors open. It. Yeah. Okay. It's that easy. Yep. Wait, it's that open. easy. Mm. Uh, so although heavy, the doors slide open easily, recessing into the walls. Beyond stretches a vault about 15 feet wide and about 60 feet long. Several shallow troughs are carved into each of the long walls, like inset shelves. And the single standing trough runs down the center of the room. Each trough is filled with coins. Most most of the coins have minimal worth. A mix of copper, tin, brass, even painted wood. Interspersed among them are more valuable treasures, including precious, uh, current, precious currency from a variety of countries, semi-precious gems, and most importantly, a few Black Noon coins. And we're going to stop there for the night. All right. We are preparing to go into the vault. Yeah. In the vault, and we stop there. Hell yeah, dude. Another great session in the books. Yes. Yeah. Hey, I Excellent. can't, uh, I can't, I can't overstate just how, uh, wonderfully you're GMing this. It's just such a pleasure to play I, every time. Yes. I, love I agree. Fun. I appreciate it. Um, the voices, the, voices, the attitude. attitude. It's, it's dun, dun, dun. Exciting. All right. You just have the voice, I think. You have that, that voice. Hey, Sam, you, go outside. You look, you look like, like someone, someone from, from Sons of Anarchy, of Anarchy sitting, sitting in their chair because <laughs> mm. you got the greasy hair. hair. So, so. <laughs> I don't call, I call his hair I don't greasy. I like it. Unsure.